with the smoky smell. And when you say you like it, oh, God, girl, you weird. <laughs> All right, I just want to say, first of all, big up Kurt's Cocktails for the plug-in. Let's just, I just need a sip. This one? This strawberry divine. I don't Solid. know. Solid. I believe this is the strawberry I will lemon. I this one so mm. quickly. Oh, my gosh. This one is With, me. It's amazing. Oh, let me sip this. Mm. Mm-hmm. I love this. I love this. Oh, see, cocktails is, you know what? It's nice to be called cocktails and takeaways and have cocktails, you know. Before, we just used to have plastic cup. <laughs> Plastic cover. Trust me, You're yes. Level obviously. have changed. But sis, why did I not bump into you at Davida? I was actually expected to kind of see you because we both said, okay, I'll be there, you'll be there. What happened? I didn't even see your snaps. Because I didn't. Do you know what? I recorded stuff, yeah. There was too many things. Why's your going mic? On. Oh my gosh, the way over there. No, but why am I even speaking like this? I'm so fresh. I'm so funny. <laughs> Hello, I'm back. <laughs> right, no, do you know what it is? So, number one, I got there late, which is very typical for me anyway. Yeah. So, well done with me. But then, number two, I got. Th- so, I was in the. What them little thing? The booth? The. Where you sit? The. And you're over, you know. The booth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the I was, VIP booth, <laughs> of course. Why I was, would it? I was, uh, so, uh, okay, so I go upstairs, yeah. I think, like, people were trying, I don't know if you saw what was going on, but it feel, I felt like a lot of people were trying to sneak in or whatever, mm-hmm. so they were trying to regulate everyone by saying you can't go up unless you've got your wristband. But I didn't get my wristband. I just had, like, my ticket on my phone, which is what they accepted. So they made me go all the way back down because I was on the third floor, went back down. Long story short, even when I got upstairs, the vibe just wasn't really, like, Can I just for say... Me. O2 security, what the fuck? You lot of bastards. It's just... Do you know what they tried to do wait, to what me? Wait, what did they do? Yeah. Obviously I, obviously, I was coming from Luton. You know my house is far. Yeah. So, obviously, I had to bring my, my duffel bag. No, 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 suitcase. I bought a duffel bag. <laughs> yeah. And, um, obviously, to change my clothes and whatever. And yeah. then go f- from doing my hair to the O2 to, to step into the scene, as mm. you do. And when I got to there, they tried to tell me that my bag was too big to enter and I should go back. I said, go back to where? I just said to him, I said, listen, I'm not going to lie to you yet. It's either you force me to the back or I'm going to walk. Because listen, you, this is, I don't want to make your shift difficult. No. Like th- there's nothing in the bag. The bag has been checked. No. My good sir. They've checked the bag. They've done this, the x-ray, whatever. Yeah. There's nothing in the bag. It's just high. It's just flat. They were on smoke yesterday. They were on they smoke were on for smoke. no they, reason. I, I went all the way back down to go and it was just long, but they did it to everyone. Like, what Everyone, is it was just ugh, it's giving anti chaos. It, it was me. giving chaos. It's, it's, it's giving anti black. <laughs> so then, when you first of all, obviously, Wumi is Wumi Bella, so that's why she can be in the in the in the VIP boobs. The rest of us, we had to we had to stand like pedestrians. <laughs> Wait, were you standing? No, no, I wasn't. I was. I, w- I had a seat, mm-hmm. um, but I wasn't in the booth. Though, 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 I feel like though I feel like standing at like a David concert is a better vibe. I actually Do think, you think so. so. My first ever concert was a David concert. It was like maybe like four years ago. And oh my goodness, I had the best time. So my expectation for this concert was up. Here. Remember when we were talking yesterday? Or yeah. was it yesterday? I was yeah, like, I, was going I'm, to- I can't fucking wait. It's going to be lit. Da, 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 da. Do you know what? Can I just say, yeah, before mm. anyone comes to me, I lo- we love David Like I love David. so much. David was my favorite Nigerian was- artist. Like, were you not from- She's speaking for herself. She's speaking for herself. Just speak for me. One, okay, one, one of one of my faves. One of my faves. One of my faves. Don't one of my faves. Me, let me just let me. Yeah, one of my faves. Go on. Amazing artist, but my goodness, was that was that chaotic? I don't know where to start from. Do we start from the sound? Do we start for that that uncle that kept running to fix the mic? He might as well. He might. The as one well, in white, right? There was a guy that kept running on stage to fix Devido's yeah, mic. Yeah. One random guy yeah i saw his face too many times i'm thinking are you part of the show <laughs> have you and davido started collaborating do are you, you have a song sing? are you gonna, are you gonna sing? sing because you might as well have a song because you understand the same <laughs> more times than davido to be fair i was like what is going on the sound uh, yeah the sound like was mad. the sound was mad it was mad like it was young blue session when young blue had to sing mm-hmm. did you hear him did he even sing? Yes, he said, they say time, you know, whatever. <laughs> and my favorite song. I was so excited. I couldn't hear a word. Couldn't no, because hear he didn't sing. Because basically, from what I know from all my musical tech people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I believe the earpiece, the earpiece wasn't working. So basically, what the artist hear on stage. All of them. All of them. Because if you notice, every single mm. every single person that came on, what th- their, their voices was delayed. Mm. Their voices was delayed. Like mm. it was. It, uh. Yeah, no. And then Davido had a had a watch change in the middle of the a watch change. Did you not? See? I didn't see. All I saw was the out. You remember when he was wearing that shiny, shiny, the shine, 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 drippy, drippy outfit. I love that fit. So but I didn't see the watch the, change. He had the shine, shine outfit. Yeah, yeah. The guy he left 
the stage. Yeah. Then ran. Obviously, the change took too long. Mm. My guy ran off. Ran onto the stage and some of his buttons were not done properly so you can see his belly so his belly was at man came out back in a crop top on stage trying to button up his top it was just i don't it, it was, was given, it was chaos it was chaos it man. was given black but people timing i did color gold set i'm sorry i'm so can i just say i love adi kunle gold fucking killed it you know and i just want to be high what (laughs) the energy in that room when that song came on mad it was insane the outfit it was the mad. Green, it was the green silk. I don't know whether that he's was. He's just that silk. guy. He's just that. I guy. don't know what that outfit was. He's just that guy. I wasn't expecting him to come on because I thought yeah. maybe because obviously he, you know, he just had his album. He's been in the UK. I thought maybe he was going to take a break. And mm. I didn't know he was going to be. No, here. he works hard. He does and not play when it comes ah. to his music. He does not play. I was watching like the videos that he posted up um, from last night. I was like, what? The energy was mad. It was Top like notch. literally. I mm-hmm. call it gold. Amazing, amazing, amazing. I just want to even want to say anything. I want to I want to say something today because I'm, I think I've come to the realization yeah, Go on. that I actually and I'm gonna say this as a woman. I hate I hate wearing heels. Oh, I hate wearing heels, baby. I love the aesthetic. What do you mean? No, no. Can we can we go on? Can we be no? No, can we be honest? Now, come on, ladies. Let's go on, go on, go on, go on. Like seriously, no one can tell me that (laughs) anyone finds comfort in this fucking shoe, man. It, but it's not about the comfort, bruv. I'm fed up, man. But I can't lie. Like I actually don't. The only reason I'll be able to hear you is if I had a problem with heels. Like when it comes to comfort, like I genuinely like I. You'll rarely ever see me complain about heels. Like you don't get the pain. Like in your I get foot. sometimes it might be some. Like I know certain brands I will never buy heels from because you're trying to kill me. Where, where, where? Eagle, ego heels. No, 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 no. I'm not. I'm not gonna do that. Ego. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna do that because it's too painful. Whereas like other brands, there's certain brands I also know. Okay, cool. This is. I like House of CB heels are amazing to wear. Pretty little I've thing heels. As, pretty little thing. I'm quite comfortable with their heels as well. I've never really had a problem with like pretty little thing. Okay. I'm yes, somebody else has. Go I'm on, go on, my... go on, tell me. Honestly, I've I've done PLT, I've done ego, I've done. How do you find ego? Desire. Ego, awful. I wore. Oh it's my god! I just I wore an orange pointed shoe for my birthday, <laughs> and I felt like I was. I felt like my shoe was like this. I felt like I was walking at ninety degrees. <laughs> what the fuck was that? There was no comfort, oh, ninety no degrees. It's just awful. But what I, I was really thinking about because I was just because literally as I'm talking to you, yeah, yeah. The, my set to be precise, my second toe and my third toe is pinched. <laughs> it's fucking finished because I and the thing is I won't even wear heels. I wore a boot. So Obviously, when we told me that she was gonna give them boot and leather, so I was yeah, like, mm. I did my boots thing. You did the boots <laughs> thing. I didn't wear a high. I, I had a I had a small boot like um. It wasn't a thigh high boot. Yeah. It was a below knee boot. <laughs> yeah. Below knee boot. Yeah. I'm and trying to picture thick, this. Go on. And it was a pointed shoe. Like, you know, it was yeah, giving yeah, yeah, points. Yeah. yeah. And fashion. then it was, it was given it was high, it was given high yeah. fashion. <laughs> you know? And then it was like a thick, it was a thick, chunky heel. Yeah. Bruv. <laughs> why was my foot felt squeezed? And the thing is, I'm not the type of girl mm. to be offing my shoe and walking barefoot. God. That's not me. And whoever Poor is whoever is bit. doing that, change your life. They need to be arrested. I think in those moments when girls are doing that, arrest. No, genuinely. Do you know what? Because that is that that is not nice. That is mean. That is change mean. Your life. That is mean. Change your life. <laughs> change your life it's not <laughs> because, right because it's, it's mad it's not un- you know when you go to the club and you see girls doing that genuinely like i'm like oh. sis at least do you know what i don't even mind like the slippers like just bring the slippers bring the little whatever you want to yeah. bring but the barefoot touching the ground and uh we were rooting for you <laughs> listen i'm listen no i'm all about my Woman empowerment. All about I love, it. I love my, I love my sisters. I love my girls. But sometimes yeah. I see certain things and I'm thinking, fuck. The barefoot thing is one of them. Even to be honest, yeah. When I was deep in it, because I had an epiphany. Yeah. Just wear the heel. Do you know what I mean? Just wear the, or just wear the, just wear the trainers. Like you know I feel I mean? like we need to normalize women wearing flats. But I feel like I feel like hell. women, hella women, do that though. Yesterday, I, I even felt kind of out of place um, when I came like clip 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 because I saw so many girls wearing like boots, not even just boots, sorry, trainers mm-hmm. and all sorts. I felt like yesterday felt very leveled in terms of what everybody was wearing. Like it wasn't too many girls wearing heels or anything. I saw quite a lot of heels. I saw know. I saw a lot of trainers when I was walking. Oh, really? Every head was just like. What trainer, the hell yeah, is trainer, you yeah. know this? No, more so oh, for me because I was in my little freaking. Uh, to be honest, I 
kind of thing I look like a prostitute yesterday. <laughs> That's a different <laughs> different story like for another whore. day. I li- I, know, I I was living we my I was living my whole outfit life. Love it. I'm here for it. I don't know how I got there, but <laughs> it was there. And I'm I'm here for it. It I'm was there. Hate. You know when like African aunties like so I'm walking into like North Greenwich right, mm-hmm. right into the O2. I'm walking walking man my business. I'm just seeing every auntie turn around. Like, mm, mm, mm. It's Hi, like hater, bitch. <laughs> Hi hater bitch. <laughs> Hi hater bitch. What? What? Look at me. Honestly, aunties <laughs> could get it too, you know. Honestly, I'm, aunt, I'm not gonna lie. Aunt, no, the aunties getting it too. Aunties <laughs> get it too. What? <laughs> you you know I look good, and see, you know you want to wear this if you had this body. And what do you mean? What do you mean? Please Don't kill me. wear your clothes. Don't, kill Don't let anyone me. tell you. Listen, I'm for no, the heels. I'm for the, I'm for the, I'm I'm for looking like a hooker <laughs> when it's when it's time to get down. And obviously, it's Davido. What do you mean? Do your thing. Exactly. But all I'm saying is that with the heels. I don't know. I love wearing heels, especially because me. Yeah. I have a very. Is it that I have a short to- torso, or is it a long torso? Anyways, my legs are short. Yeah, yeah. So I wear heels because it just elongates me, and heels mm, are just, just sexy. sexy. It's sexy. Man. That's I'm not the thing. Lie it's to just you. sexy. It gives like it's energy. Elegance. It's elegant. It's yeah, just. It is, uh, and also, like you know, there's certain outfits you just can't wear trainers. You with can't. No no, like no, 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 no. You can't. How? You look bush. You can't. It just like amplifies every single outfit. I don't know. But goddamn, like I want people to know, like let's stop pretending like it's it's not it's not it's not painful. It's fucking is. Let's not let's let, let all this. I don't think there's. Ever, but no, I'm standing like, my oh, ground. Yeah, there are no no no. I'm standing my hills. ground. There are some very comfortable hills. Just end it. Like okay, this isn't this isn't hills, but this I wear these boots all the time. Yeah, because that is time, a whole like, platform. Chilling. I like that though. Thank you, but this is a whole. That one is not. Is like it's not it's all not level little, yeah. platform. Yeah, 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 you know, really. sometimes it's like the ba- the base will be touching yeah. the floor, and then it will be like this. Okay, that's the boot yeah, I yeah, was yeah. wearing. Mine didn't have a platform. Mine was just like base but and then heel. That's fire. Did you get a picture? I'm you not gonna lie. The shoe's fucking fire. Exactly. The I shoe's fire, and you must have looked fire. The shoe was a bad. The shoe was a bad girl shoe. I'm not gonna lie to you, but my goodness, like my foot was pinched, and I'm one of those people. I don't like. I, I didn't want to change my shoes in front of people. Yeah, yeah. I'm not that type. I have to go. I have to go far. <laughs> I have to. When I finish, like, let's just say, if the club is here, I need to be on, on the, the other side. street before I change my shoe. I'm not gonna change in front of people because it it, it it's just not the vibe. No, facts, it's just not the vibe. Facts. I don't know the pack of slippers thing. I'm trying to change. I just can't. I'm trying to. Change. I kind of feel I'm like I left. That. I left that at 21. That's what I'm saying. Just wear the 21. flats, man. Just wear the flat shoe and call it a day. But it's mad though, because remember back in the day, like when we were like in our twen- like earlier 20s, mm-hmm. so 20, 21 stage, you can't do that in a club. You can't go to a club wearing slippers and not fl- not slippers like flats or anything like that. That was not allowed then. They wouldn't let you in. Where are you, you going? Know, I always used to just wear heels. I never knew that well, you yeah, were allowed to wear trainers. You were, so. Really? Oh, you wouldn't. They will. They will send you. I, I've seen so many girls on TikTok talk about like their experience with like clubbing and stuff, mm-hmm. and like how you know. Obviously, before I mean, I'm sure it's still like that now. Very much so. I don't really like clubbing anymore, but very much so. Like they will look at you, what you're wearing, your aesthetic, da da da, and that's how they will determine whether or not you know you're getting inside. Da, da. Yeah. So imagine wearing flats, and then there's also like a group of you, like a mad group of you. You're not getting in. I've heard so many stories about Horror that. Horror stories. Especially, especially with black women. It's peak. It's so bad. It's so bad. It was so degrading back then. Back then. Wow. Like, it was so degrading back then. I remember- You're saying back then. How old are you with me? Uh, I don't know. You know, COVID. So, COVID. <laughs> No, no, COVID genuinely makes everything feel like it was so long ago. You're I'm 25, but genuinely... Look no, at... We, oh, my God! Wait, 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 wait. I'm 25, but genuinely COVID, life before COVID felt so different that now I'm like, I feel older. I even feel old, older than 25 more When time. you were saying that, I was like, you sound like... Because when was the last time? When was the last time? When was the last time you went to a club? Um, exactly. It's true, you know. Exactly. Club, like, exactly. Before, like, I know? miss that. I really feel like that period between... You know, locked. How long has it been? What three years or yeah, three years, whatever. Three suffering three, years. Three, three years. Like, it changed everything. That was like clubbing prime. Like right before COVID, what every single weekend I was. You was there. in at the club. Frontline. What? I loved it so much. More so, Are you a club? I'm such a like I. Not so much anymore, but like I was like clubbing, clubbing parties i loved it i just love you my you girls. don't give me that vibe really? you know you don't give me hot what, girl vibes what vibe, what vibe do i give you tell me you give me, me. 
You give me wife vibes. You give me. Um, I just like to stay at home. I cook and clean in the what? kitchen. What? Like you really no, give me. You really give me no. good. You give me good girl. I mean, to be fair, to be fair, vibes. I'm definitely like a definitely good girl. But I'm definitely. I like to have fun. Like I really do. Oh, like, I, I want to enjoy myself. That's like good. life is not. Do you know what I mean? Life is for the living. Like life I, I wanna, I wanna fucking facts. live. Like I wanna live. But I do definitely think I have. I mean, we all have versions. We all have like a variety of. You know, you can be this version. You can be that version. Da, uh-huh. da, da, da. I feel like I, I'm just quite. What's the word I'm looking for? Um, is it anti- quite layered? What's, what's you say? Ambidextrous. No, like layered. I don't I don't know, even, layered. What's ambidextrous? What I, have I have no even? idea. I, Anyways, I've never heard that. Obviously, since Shia's coming, I've been trying to yeah. br- broaden my vocabulary <laughs> in it because she gives. Shia us the- loves to drop. She loves words. a good, and she I'll loves be a like, good word, innit? What does that mean? She loves a good word. Me, I'm just, I just, to be honest, yeah, I'm one of those people, like, if I don't know what it means, I'll just be quiet. <laughs> I won't say I don't know because, you know, there's some words where you should know. If not, then you're, that you're, if not, then you're dumb. So just to avoid me looking dumb, I'll just be like, I'll be like, yeah, yeah, I'll yeah, 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 them ones. That's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shia like, was the one that, <laughs> was the one that put me on that word, contextualize. <laughs> <laughs> Shayo loves it. She loves to drop one, two no, words no, here I'm and not there. mad. But guys, I want to introduce you to our guest today. First of all, can I just say happy happy International Women's... Is it day? day? No, this is going to be out the day after happy Inter- International... Oh, so the ninth. What a fucking word to start. International. <laughs> International Women's Day. I want to say a big happy International Women's Day to everybody. And special, special guest today. I absolutely love it. We have a fantastic brilliant woman today she is a content creator she's an interviewer she is a personality and she has her own amazing show called the woman bella show it is none (laughs) other than woman motherfucking bella in the building that was a lovely (laughs) intro that was like that was cute it was after down that was really nice i like that you know know, i'm a freestyler as well you know about my mixtape how are you how was your week can i just say thank you so much for coming no of course i'm out I, I get excited when people come, but I think you might be my most exciting. Oh my god! Like oh my god, when Bella's coming, don't do I know, I'm that. Gonna, I'm so, don't be guessing me in this way. Don't guess me. I'm a fan, I'm a fan 100%. No, I'm thank so, you. I'm, and I think this is the first time as well. Um, I've ever been across somebody that does something similar, similar space. to me, yeah, similar yeah, yeah. space. Like, yeah being a host, being an interview, I think incredible. Can I just say, yeah, I just want to say this now. There was a picture yeah. <laughs> that you and Victor Kunza dropped. Oh my gosh, the I Mobo picture. I believe it was picture. the Mobo picture. <laughs> the picture. The picture. <laughs> Till this day. Do you know how insane <laughs> that photo is? No, guys, let's talk about it. That picture. It, do you know what's mad? That picture was literally taken within two shots, you know? Like, we were in a rush. So we mm-hmm. were working. So we were both working at the Mobas that day. And um, we were just like, oh, let's quickly da 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 And it was even like a random babe that took it for us because she was like, oh, you guys will look quite good. Or something like that. But it, yeah. was, it was not even like planned. It wasn't or, thought. It just was like, oh, yeah, quick da da And he ran, I ran, and we both went about our ways. Then in the morning, I woke up and I saw the picture on my phone. I was, I called him. I said, excuse me? Like what? There's a picture on my phone. <laughs> it is a madness. <laughs> the pictures are fucking madness. He was like, "Show me." I showed him. He said, "Okay, okay." okay. He said, "Alright, cool, alright, cool." Do you know how? <laughs> for, I don't know. Victor Cordell needs to give us the chest workout first. Excuse of all, me. Every time his chest is always. Excuse like, me. Like that boy, no, he got a good goddamn chest. Between the chest and the skin. It, do you know what he reminds me of? A chocolate fountain. Do you know what I mean? Like you know, was it? Is it? Uh, uh, what's the thing? What's that thing? Um. A gato, uh, or what is it? Oh, the little when the chocolate is like dripping. It's dripping. Mm. Like if if people, I feel you. People need to put a picture of Victor and just and like, just the chocolate. F- mm. Like he are. Uh, but do you know what? Yeah, fun. I literally saw it the other day, and somebody was like Ken and Barbie. I said, shit, this video, this picture is still going round. God still damn. Go, I still get comments. It's like my most liked picture ever. Like it's. I'm not it's surprised. Still going it's round. Every it's thing. And obviously, we know Mr. Victor Koda just looks like a supermodel. His right. hair, his skin, his body. He's just... I remember when I first met uh, Victor and yeah. he was just... I just looked at him and said, God damn, you are tall. You are, you are you was fine. fine. I thought, you are like, fine. Honestly, he literally is. Like, I, so I remember handsome. looking at his face and I thought, God. He's so handsome. Just the symmetrical... The, the sim- um, what is it? The, yeah. the symmetricality the team, yeah. of your face. <laughs> Enough. Like, it's giving. Is just it's so, giving. That man is fine. But you... And the green, do you know what? Stop yeah, I, I need to break the bondage of wearing black. 
No, break it. I need to break it in Jesus' name break and it. break the bond. Like when I see people wearing color and pull it off, I'm like, I need to stop wearing colors. Like everybody's always like, oh, but Joyce, on your show, yeah, you wear color. I purposely don't wear black on my show because oh, cause you wear black in real life. Yeah, because in real life, yeah. I am just blacked out. <laughs> but I need to change. I'm not gonna lie. I need to need to change the outfits. So in by God's grace. You gonna do that? But when I saw that no, picture, I was like, oh my god, fantastic! No, do you have a stylist or do you style yourself? Um, or? kind of style myself, but my assistant, who actually is a stylist, so we kind of work together sometimes. Like uh, as of late, like in the most recent month or so, like we've kind of been working together a little bit more because we're working on working on something that's coming off real soon. Yeah, I'm very, 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 very excited about. So yeah, you, like because I love fashion. Like I love. I really, really, really have like this weird love for fashion so a lot of the time when it comes to outfits like i'm like i just want to experiment i'm like big on experimental when it comes mm-hmm. to fashion you know so to answer your question kind of not really i love that and also just the, the, your fashion as well like your pictures like i feel like you really got your branding to the t when it just comes i don't know mm-hmm. like i was i was literally saying to um woman on the phone yeah like, i was just about to bring that up the- <laughs> i was literally just about to bring that up because obviously i told woman that she's like <laughs> the epitome of feminine energy to me <laughs> i just feel like when i look at women i'm just like i just if i was to think of oh who is a woman that i would love to embody <laughs> just in terms of like your energy like your self-care like everything just looks so well put, put together and classy it's definitely one value 100%, Do you know what you 100%. know remember when you said this i was like ah like i'm not to, not not yeah like not to say you know what because i've Certain things that I do, yeah, when it comes to, and I don't know, I, I know you. There's certain conversations that you have, and you, you guys get like mad deep. I remember watching the ones with you and Miss Gems, mm-hmm. um, and I don't even know why I'm bringing this up, but basically, just so I don't go off on a tangent. But there's certain things that I do, certain practices that I do, like my self care, like my morning routine and stuff that I'm like, I need to, I like for sanity purposes and being able to like live on this God green earth, Mm -hmm. like I must do because Mm -hmm. I will go mad because the world is a mad place. Like I need to like protect me. Mm -hmm. So when you were saying it and like, obviously I know that, you know, it's weird because before I started putting it out there and I was just, we used to like practice it myself and like do it in my house and stuff. Like to me, it wasn't really, you know, it wasn't anything. But to hear someone like yourself, like saying to me, like you give me feminine, da da da. And to me, it doesn't, it's not really that. It's more like, bro, you don't know, I'm protecting myself. Wow. It's more of a, it's genuinely like more of a protection thing than anything else. That is amazing. I don't know, from when I'm looking at it outside perspective, it's interesting that you say that. Yeah. Because for me, it just seems like you, that's just kind of who you are. That's yeah. just kind of who you emanate. But you're saying that you purposely do it in terms of your sanity and your mind. Yeah, like I think I, I definitely am very much that person. I've always been very spiritual. I've always been very God-led. I've always been- I love that. I've always been very, for lack of a better word, like I, I just really care about like what's going on, on the inside. I'm not really like mm. an outside person. Like I care about outside, you know, visually like looking good. Like you know, you're a bad bitch, own it. But I'm very much like I need to make make sure that everything that's on the outside is also right because whatever is on the inside is what's going to transfer on the outside in terms mm-hmm. of energy, in terms of how people see you, in terms of what you do for people, what good you give on this earth. Do you know what I mean? So for me, it's like I prioritize, I choose. But I think everything in life is about choosing. Like I choose to prioritize like my inner life, and you know, and that's just yeah like it's it's like it's who i am but it's also a choice for for me to be like that yeah so talk to me through some of your practices like hey i I would love to know just give us one or two like um so one of my biggest things hmm you know what's so weird i've never really had this conversation before like i don't really because you because i'm the one who's on your side don't get me here don't get me here it's so weird talking about this like this but no um I should like this. Thank you for having me, girl. But um, one of my biggest things is meditation. And Ooh. I feel like, actually, two things. So you said two things, right? So I'll say biggest thing. You can't even med- give us five. <laughs> I don't mind. I would say, I would say meditation and journal- journaling. Wow. So let me, let me start with meditation because I think for a long time I've always, it's so weird because I've always tried to avoid like t- touching on this or saying too much about this, right, um, online just because I think that... <coughs> <coughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello, Sorry, hi. What the hell happened there? Um, yeah, I used to always kind of not want to talk about this just because I think sometimes I'm like, I don't want people, I, I don't know. But for me, meditation is one of those things that I need to do to, they're speaking to God and then there's hearing God. Yeah. Meditation is like, it, it's a time to hear. It's a time to just block out the noise, block out any thoughts that you have, block out anything that you're trying to 
chat like we chat so much shut up do you know what I mean like it's, <laughs> it's genuinely like my shut up time like it's time mm-hmm. for me to just hear whatever message God is trying to tell me whatever answers I'm trying to look for like this that that is just my time and I have this like thing when it comes to uh, meditating that I always say to people whenever they ask me about it that I'm like pretend because people find meditating really hard it is one of those things yeah. like it's with time like you have to practice it but what I say is like when you when you close your eyes and you're you know you're in your space and you're you're in your zone and also like meditation is not this thing where you have to sit on the table and you know it can be whatever it means to you as long as you're still you're by yourself you're you're silent it's peaceful do you know what I mean so what I say is like close your eyes and pretend as if like there's a so whenever you get a thought that comes in pretend it's in a bubble like every single thought is in a bubble right so whether it's a thought about life it's a thought about this it's in a bubble and your, your job is just to pop the bottle bubble before it gets to you before it becomes an actual thought wow. do you know what I mean so like as soon as you as soon as you feel that thought coming through you pop it and um, because you're not allowing any thoughts to come through because all you want is clarity all you want is silence all you want is God so you're just constantly popping the bottle whether it's about oh my sister did this or oh I feel anxious about this or I did it like you're just popping every single bubble that comes in so that you're just completely clear but yeah meditation is like has been a lifesaver in like many ways. I wow. Like it's been a madness. I think that's amazing. And honestly, for me, I have tried meditation. Have and you? Like, How do you find it? Honestly, and I think the advice you literally gave about the, the, the bubble, bubble, I'm going to try because it's so weird. It's like, the, the only time, yeah. I feel like the only time when I'm doing meditation, the negative thoughts start coming out mm. and I get lost in them. I realize yeah. I'm very, I'm very, I'm a very like, um, I'm a big dreamer. Sometimes okay. I, sometimes I, I actually get lost in my thoughts. So I found when I was meditating, I'd close my eyes and I had it and I'd, and I'd be in a thought and not yeah. realise I was in a thought mm. I'd be in a thought for like five minutes and I'm like oh shit I'm, a, I'm in a thought I'm mm. in a daydream and I try to snap myself out but it's just about having being conscious yes. about that time and you mentioned the second one I would love to hear this journaling so journaling is, oh, journaling I've had like a really interesting upbringing right mm. um, so I had to put and a lot of these like practices that I've done like really do come from like having to protect myself from like childhood you know so when I was growing up where I didn't really have anyone to talk to about you know the things that were going on and like the experiences I was having and just everything that was going on because it was a lot you know through school through home it was just too much right and the only way this is where I first like began my relationship with God and I got into, I just had this thing for expressing myself. So I just got a diary one day and I just started writing to myself. Like every time, you know, there was something going on or I felt away or da da da, I would just be like, dear, dear diary, today, da 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 da. But how I looked at it was like, dear God. It was wow. always like my dear God journal, you know what I mean? And I have all those journals from, you know, from, from I have one from like when I was in year six. Wow. Like, yeah, like I, I read them back sometimes and it's so, and this is why I always say I encourage people to get, to do journaling because number one, it's like a safe haven for your thoughts, like how you really, really feel without mm. no, without the world alter, altering it for you or you altering it for yourself. It's just how you truly feel in that moment. Is it right? Is it wrong? It's not your business, but it's what you feel right now. Ooh, address it. Passionate. Address <laughs> no, it. Do you know what I mean? Address it. Feel it. Write about it so that when you come back, for me, journaling is like I'll write and I'll come back and reflect on it so I can read back. And you know when you read back on yourself or when you even listen to yourself back, when you listen back to yourself, a lot of the time you'll realize I'm being dramatic yeah. or like, oh, you're wrong here. You're able to look at things a little bit differently. And that's why I appreciate like journaling because it allows me to really reflect, but also kind of maintain like all my memories. Cause you can imagine like in my, I was reading my my year 11 journal the other day. And like I, I was, um I had one of, I brought it to school on my last day of year 11. I had all my teachers, my favorite teachers write a note in it just about, you know, what we did like throughout the years and blah, blah, blah. And like, you can imagine like reading that kind of thing back, how it made you make you feel or even when I was like in year year 11 or maybe year 10 I had like this massive um belly button surgery on my on my stomach mm-hmm. and I, I remember reading <laughs> oh, I'm so dramatic I thought something was gonna happen to me because I'd never had surgery before <laughs> so in my journal I like literally was like just in case I die here's a letter <laughs> to all my best friends I wrote xyz xyz and i wrote like an actual letter to them but reading that back is such a nice feeling just to connect to your inner self you're like your inner child and just not lose you know that aspect of you because sometimes you know how life is so fast life is forever moving you know sometimes i find that not sometimes but a lot of the time i find that it's easy for you to lose yourself in life and the only way sometimes to bring yourself back to yourself you're like your true self is to read back or look back at you know what you were like before though because you know when we're younger like there's not really much things going on to really alter who you really really are whereas like as we progress into adulthood it's so much easier for us to like waver and move and things like journaling and reading back on those past thoughts and those past feelings are really how you allow allow yourself to really maintain who you are without the world altering it too much you know so yeah that's that's like like another practice that I love I think that's do you know how amazing this sounds to me because it's like I feel like a lot of people a lot of people struggle 
with with being heard and i feel like yeah. those two things that you've put is like sometimes do you you trying to let things out and and being her doesn't just come from people but yeah. also having understanding that god also hears you oh yeah so i think that's amazing i want to oh, yeah. know more about your relationship with god though i'm really interested because i never knew yeah that obviously me i'm i'm a very christian woman <laughs> as you guys know i love i love jesus i never yeah. knew about your relationship so i would love to hear um i've always oh god god has God has paved the way for me. God has saved me. Like, wow. I remember, yeah, grow and a lot of these things just always send back to childhood for me. Like, genuinely, God carried me through my whole upbringing because in moments where I felt so alone, so unheard, so unseen, so unseen, I would always just get this thought and it would be an instant prayer that I would say, I would just be like, God's got me. Like, it's gonna be okay, God's got me. And I just really felt it. Like I really felt like somebody was constantly holding me. And I don't, and I, the, I can't really explain it other than genuinely, like it felt like I was always being held. In moments where I felt complete sadness, in moments where I really felt unseen and I couldn't move, I just can always feel God. And even in moments where like I, I, I feel really happy and life is going well, my thing is, God, like this wouldn't happen if it weren't for God. And yeah. I, I, I look at my relationship with God almost, almost as though like it's kind of magical. Like it's very, to me, it feels very magic led because sometimes the way life works, I'll literally write down. Um, I've kind of changed the way I pray now. Like now when I pray, I write down exactly what I have a prayer point for the, for the month, right? So every month at the start of the month, I'll have a prayer point and I'll write them down. And as the, and this is how I monitor like my, not even my relationship with God, but monitor myself, but also my relationship with God and how much God is really showing up for me. Do you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Because the more God shows up for you and the more you show up for God, the more that bond is just so elite. And that's what I feel and right sometimes now. Sometimes you right? forget as oh, well. So bro, you forget, can you honestly. imagine? Can you imagine going back and reading back on all your prayer points and seeing tick, tick, tick? Yeah. That's a constant reminder that God is the greatest. Like there's no Absolutely. one else you to serve but God, you know? So yeah. I have like monthly prayer points um, and I'll just write down a list of the things that I want. Not even want, but like what I'm after or what I want God to put in me. Or you know, whatever, whatever it can be. Mm -hmm. It might be fix my relationship with X, Y, Z friend. You know, you know, you get the vibe. Yeah. So, um, and then every single morning, my prayer will be dedicated to those prayer points specifically. Wow. So that is just me, you know, repeating every single day for that whole month my prayer point. That's it. And then I'll come back, and then and then at the end of the month, like you know, I'll I'll see what's been ticked. And usually, I genuinely like there was a. I remember, I remember, I haven't really shared this with anyone, but I remember in um, what month was it? Was it in the, when was the mobos and stuff like December? Yes, December. So during that, during that December period, I remember there was a date I wrote down. No, that's a lie. It was um, the twenty third of November. I remember I wrote down a specific set of prayer points. Right. Usually, I might tick like four or five of my of my ten prayer points. Yeah. This month, I ticked all 10 of my prayer wow. points but it wasn't even just that it was it was the first time I decided to like have very specific prayer points to the point where I was writing numbers I literally was like God at the end of this month I would like X, Y and Z like as in like, I'm talking down to a T as in like it's not even just like you're saying it, it, it's it's too it's down to a T and I will get a deal that was exactly that do you know what I mean that wow. that like my relationship with God is just that's that's my people that's that's my best friend that's my do you own. know what that's so inspiring and that's motivating and honestly for me vulnerable moment I've actually like I I have a love for God yeah and I'm I've, I've grown up in the church but I've also experienced God in my own relationship mm -hmm. but I definitely feel there's been kind of do I want to say a dwindling? I don't know. I just don't feel like I was as passionate as I once was. Okay. And I would love to to ask you, how do you maintain your passion? I know in every season, you know, it's, you know, maybe, you know, you get more busy and you get, you know, things yeah. start coming in and sometimes you don't have the time that you used to. Yeah. I know during lockdown, I was very like, oh yeah. my God, I had a lot of time. But now with everything that's going on, like life has changed. How do you maintain that? Do you know what? I think it's it's actually humanizing God a little bit because, or not, not that's not the right way actually. I don't think it's humanizing God. I think it's humanizing ourselves and knowing that God sees us as humans, right? Mm -hmm. Because the reality is, like you said, we are up and down constantly. We're not always in one state and that state isn't like, oh, God for life. Eh, eh, you know I mean? <laughs> it's not always gonna be a God for life. Like you're gonna have a month or a week or a day where you're on some ish and you know, your, your mind just isn't there, right? Yeah. But it's recognizing that God sees you in your fullest form. Mm 
God knows that this is this is this is what you this is how you are right now, but this isn't the whole of Joyce mm. or the whole of Wimmy or the whole of Shia or the whole of anybody. Do you know what I mean? It's like understanding that God sees your whole and like allowing yourself to like be okay in, with that. Because there's I, I'm not gonna sit here and be like, oh my God, like it's constantly like God, God, da da da. Because it's not like that for me. But I also just have this innate knowing that like. God knows that deep inside my core, like how I feel about him. And God knows deep inside my being, like I'm I'm for you and I'm for the world and I'm for, you know, the goodness that you poured in me that maybe right now I'm a bit lost. I'm a bit, I'm a bit disattached from you in a way that I don't want to be, but bring me back. You yeah. know what I mean? Like just knowing that God sees the whole you instead of just this one version of you that might be existing right now. I think is like my way. Like I think that understanding and that way of looking at things just makes it, makes me feel, it, it puts less pressure mm-hmm. on Absolutely. me to just know that God just knows me, you know? Do you know what? You've really helped me today with something. Honestly, really? You have. I don't think you, you don't realise, but you have. Babe, Honestly, I I've, it's something I've really, it's, it's something it, this season I've really, really struggled with and I'm trying to yeah. get myself back. But thank you so much for sharing that. Seriously. It's c and baby. Of course, this is a new segment that we have. Yeah. Um, obviously, you have mentioned that you are a fashionista, so we want your opinions on some fashion trends that have been upcoming, and let's see what you think about it. So, okay. you ready? Yes, yeah, sir. So, this segment is called Hit or Miss. If you like it, tell us it's a hit and why. Mm-hmm. If you don't like it, tell us it's a miss and why. Okay. So, let me just wheel this up, because for some reason, my notes has not updated on my laptop as it should have. Okay. Oh no, I lied. It's not even called Hit or Miss. See, I don't <laughs> even know the name. It called? It's called Win or Bin. How, <laughs> wait, so, how did you get to Hit or Miss? How did know, you get I there? How? It's the drink, clearly. It's the drink. And can I just say a big shout out to our drink sponsors of today, Kurt's Cocktails. You already know the vibe. Guys, we've already finished the drink. We've already started. Listen, my drink is already gone. Not me Not me saying it midway and I've already finished the drink. But guys, make sure you guys check out kurtzcocktails.com for premium cocktails at 19% volume. Yes, we are getting lit with this. They do amazing services. They do events. They do cocktail tastings. They do event catering. Mother's Day hampers, you call, you name it, and they will get it for you. Amazing, amazing service. I love working with them. Um, they were on our episode for Tega, and if you guys remember, we got very, very drunk. Did you guys? <laughs> oh my days, it was bad. How many cocktails did you drink? Way too many. There was hey. even we had cocktail shots, everything. It was it was you don't business. It was a very, very chaotic episode. But guys, make sure you check out Kurt's cocktails. Thank you so so much. And also I have a discount code 50% off. Um, if you order on their website, just type in Madame Fifteen, and you can get some money off as well. But yeah, let's get on to win or bin. I was gonna say hit or miss again. <laughs> I was gonna say <laughs> you're not gonna kill drink, me in this place. The you're drink is not. so obviously we've got some fashion. What have we got? Fashion, fashion pictures? No. What was it fashion called? designers? No, we've got some. The drink, fashion no, trends. the drink must be here. The drink you. is finished. The drink is okay. Let me <laughs> let me start that again. Okay, guys. <laughs> We've got some fashion trends that we want you to to talk about. Whether it's a, I was gonna say. Oh my hit god, and miss I love again. this game. I'm gonna take my jacket off. I'm really. I was actually this. gonna say hit and miss again, but anyways, you know the vibe. I don't. I can't. Choice. Box, I can't. I can't. Choice. I'm not doing this anymore. Sorry. Anyways, win yeah, or bin. Question. Are you ready? Yeah, babes, hit me. Okay, so number one, yeah. moon boots slash snow boots. Win or bin. <sighs> win. 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 Talk to me. I like things that just look weird. I love the platform that they've got in there. I think they're just stylish. I think they look bad. And there was a picture that Kendall Jenner dropped. Did you see that? that it was in like, the snow. Eh, eh, oh, do you know what? That was, that eh, was actually a serious She thing. just looks stunning. I love Kendall. Fuck, I love Kendall. I mean, just like her. She's the unproblematic yeah. one. Come yeah, on, give her, give her a break, man. Do you know what? I just need more vim in like the catwalks. Do you know what I mean? I need a bit more energy when she's doing her shoots. Like it's I need true. more. Your model, give me model. Give me model. Give me I'm model. trying to be a model. Yeah. I get you. Or not, I, wanna, I don't want to be here. It gives me very much. I don't want to be here. Does she want to be there? I don't think so, to I be honest. I don't think so I don't either. Think so, but, um, <laughs> yeah, win, defo. Do you know what? I don't agree with you on that one. Well... To be honest, I must say, yeah, you've nearly changed my mind because the Kendall Jenner boots, that picture. But that's what I'm saying. You know, there's certain things for me that 
you can wear for a shoot. Yeah. But in real life, it looks crazy. Okay. Like, like when we're talking about high fashion, like you see some stuff in Vogue, somebody will wear bib bag <laughs> and they'll be doing... And you'll be and like, whoa. Like, whoa. If sis was walking in the supermarket with pushing a trolley at Sainsbury's with that bin bag, are we going to be like, whoa, we're going to feel I mean, weird. no, I just don't agree with you. Because even the sis that, because for me, it's about the vim that you walk in that bin bag. If you walk in your mother freaking bin bag with <laughs> vim, then you might look hot. Like, for example, Rihanna, there's been some questionable looks that she's been doing as of late. Some of them I love, mm-hmm. do you know what I mean? But some of them I'm like, oh. But I also don't judge it just because I'm like, you, you, you own it so much that who the hell am I to talk it's it's about how you own it it's about how you own it but that's what own your bin bag obviously big up Rihanna she's she's really enjoying her pregnancy (laughs) she's coming with this but if you saw Rihanna with obviously she wore that black that black bra and then she had the 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 sheer tutu yeah 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 (laughs) of course you can wear that to a high fashion show Mm. your Rihanna but let's take away from this Rihanna you saw a pregnant woman walking down the street wearing that outfit I, no, I think you're asking the wrong person because I, I, I would love it. Like, you I would really, love it. I mean, if I liked the outfit, I really would be like, oh, you know what? When I saw what Rihanna was wearing, um, especially like one of the first two fits that she wore before everything kind of went mad, mm-hmm. I was like, this is how I see myself. Like, if <laughs> when I'm pregnant, this is the shit I will be doing mm-hmm. to Tesco, to Peckham, to anywhere I'm going. I don't so care. you're just going to be wearing I'm going to be wearing whatever shirt. I'm wearing. Yes, because it's like, oh, it's one life, you know what I mean? Do you know what? I do love her pregnancy. I'm not going to lie. I pass- A lot of people are it. talking about Rihanna's pregnancy outfits okay. and they're like, oh my God, she's doing too much. Yeah. But I kind of low-key love it. No, like, High key. What, what I love about it, yeah, women, and I remember, you know, growing up, a lot of women, when they were pregnant, they yeah. were covering their bumps. They, it made them look, they were telling them to look fat and this and that. Mm. I love how women are- Owning it. Owning themselves- um, and there's and their and their sexuality still yeah. was pregnant. You can still be pregnant and sexy. That wasn't a thing before. Yeah. Remember back in the day, you could, you we would never put pregnant and sexy together. Yeah. So seeing Rihanna, obviously, yeah, to me it's a bit crazy. Yeah, but <laughs> it really shows the progression that exactly. we've had as women. So big exactly. up Rihanna. No, I say that though. I say that though. But my friend who's in Nige right now and oh, she's pregnant, Monica and. I was talking to her about fashion, whatever else. She wore a crop top and she wore like low cut jeans in Nige while she was pregnant. <laughs> she said, "Woman, because she wanted to take a picture." She was like, "Woman, the amount of people that were like, what you wearing?" Like coming up to her in the street. She said it was oh a madness. God. So accepted in some uh, some part, sides of the world, but in Nige, no, do you not be doing oh, that? Oh, definitely. They Nige, will flog they're, they're, your ass. They're very regressive. <laughs> we, will, we will pray for Nigeria, our our ancestors and forefathers in Jesus' name. But we're Amen. saying winter moon boots, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Okie dokie. So let's talk about win or bin blazer with no top underneath. So we've got the blazers, no top, no bra, breast out. What are we saying? Because I've done it before. It would be mad for me not to say win, but the only reason I was saying bin is because I wouldn't do it again. Talk to me. Because <laughs> I've realized as much as like I'm not really a bra babe. Uh-huh. I don't think bras. Are, I just don't be liking bras. They give me prison. You know what I mean. Like they I want to be bondage. free. No, I want. I want freedom. I feel like bras were made by the patriarchal society, bro. Could, because bro. Could, why do honestly? What What is actually the functionality of, of a bra? this? When you think about it, why are you here? What is the actual function? I want to know what no. is the reasoning for bras because. The only reason for breasts to what to to hold the breast, mm-hmm. they don't need to be exactly. It, like I genuinely like I've never really oh, I've never really been fond of bras. So, but as much as I say that, there's certain outfits. So when I've worn my um, when I've worn like a blazer mm-hmm. with you know nothing un- underneath it, mm-hmm. and my boobs are just you know dropping and just saying. <laughs> 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 my boobs are just They're like hang, this. Just hanging a little you know, bit. when I look back at the pictures, I'm like, yo, I mean, is this the nicest? You know what I mean? Is this the is this the nicest thing? Sorry, not really. Normalized hanging breasts. No, 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 no. Normalized hanging no, breasts. On me, on me, on me, on me. I you did not enjoy it. I did not enjoy it. I did not enjoy it. I would rather, you know what would have been a banging look with that? It's like if I had wore like a crop top or like a lace or like a mesh, even if you don't want to wear a bra bra, like I would wear like a mesh something and still allow your boobs to thrive. But it just, it just looks like it was... Normalized hanging breasts. I don't know. <laughs> Honestly, with where, 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 this is again, this is the patriarchal society. Sorry to the guys that listen to this, but let's, let's call a spade a spade. Go on. Most women's breasts mm. hang. It hangs, it hangs. 
Why, where, why are we? Why have we been taught to hate our bodies because our breast is dropping? Mm. Let me tell you something. My breast drop. I'm gonna tell you for free. My breast is hanging. I'm gonna tell you that for free. But guess what? They still get sucked. <laughs> wow. Guess what? They still get sucked. Well, no one. There no, is that. No one is gonna be telling me that. Oh, because your breast is hanging, we're not gonna suck your breast. Mm. The breast is still getting sucked. <laughs> I'm telling you that for free. But, but would a, you? Would you mm-hmm. passing it back to you? Would you wear the blazer? I would. The, the, okay, cool. Let me let me snitch on myself a bit. Go yeah. on. I've always wanted to wear those stuff. Yeah. Like I've always, if I swear, if I had itty bitty boobies, you would. On my life, I'm showing. But every then every opportunity to, to to do no bra, you'll be I doing would it. do <laughs> even even like the under boob stuff where it's like I would do everything. <laughs> but because of my breast, the size of my breast, yeah, I can't. The aesthetic it doesn't look nice. Yeah. But one day I said I was tired, <laughs> so. This was actually recently, actually, and it was very, it was a very interesting experience. So obviously, I've seen that like a lot of women, they have like the 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 breast tape, like yeah. women have started using breast tape and things like that, which is really helpful. Though. Which is very very helpful. Mm. The f- I've used breast tape once, mm-hmm. and um, it wasn't, it didn't lift the breast like it was supposed to lift. Mm. Uh, after a while, like it just starts decreasing, like, and I wasn't, and because I was going to an event, I didn't want it to be like I was gonna wear breast tape, and then yeah. by the time I finish sweating, everything is hanging again. Mm. I would have, I would have been disgraced. So I used this thing. I'm not gonna lie, yeah. I used. I, I can't believe that they have a bra- You know, gorilla glue. Shut up. You're not about to say what you're gonna say. What did he use gorilla glue? For? It wasn't. For? You know, do you know, do you know gorilla? Of glue course, I know gorilla. <laughs> they have a duct tape. Oh, okay. They've got a duct tape. They yeah. have their own brand of duct tape. So I was like, if gorilla glue is as strong as it says, it will hold this breast. It will hold this breast into place. So I put the gorilla glue. I just lifted it. Pat. And I, and I wore the thing. I swear to God, it don't move. <laughs> it, it, don't don't, move. it don't move. It don't move. move. <laughs> it don't move. That breast did not move. Everything was sitting tight. I love but that. I was like, it was nice. It was a nice, it was finally, I get to wear something that, you know, I've always wanted to wear, but I just didn't have the breast for. But then I was thinking, God, nah, I'm sorry, man. I, so, I think when I, sometimes that like, when I see women, for example, yeah. where I, I said, for example, women wearing um, like, low cut stuff mm-hmm, mm-hmm. um and their breast is not high Slapping up yeah part of my mind is like why is she doing that like oh like really? why is she so my, why part of my mind is like oh she shouldn't be doing it. she ain't got the breast for it mm. but then the part of my mind says but who, who says does that? Who, yeah. who does that's mm-hmm. that is that is the mindset that we have been conditioned but also to that's what i was gonna say yeah. who 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 made those rules who made those who made rules because i should like you would you will barely ever see me wear a bra like a, hang your breast you i i L- gladly hang your breath i'm gonna hang them and i'm gonna <laughs> hang them with peace because it's well in one life what the heck that's what i'm saying honestly honestly not i don't know many me personally mm. i don't know many women that have their breasts like shelves yeah. high up mm. so yes girl hang your respectfully <laughs> kindly respectfully you, hang your breasts. respectfully <laughs> hang your breasts that's all i'm res- respectfully always if you have small breasts big breasts everything should be done with respect if you want to hang your breast, hang it respectfully. <laughs> but I would say blazer with no top is win for me. Okay. I like how if you I like how it looks. Mm. I think it looks nice. Obviously, mm. again, the whole the whole boob thing, some some breasts look nicer than mm. others in it. Like, let's keep it a stack. The high breast is always gonna look nicer. But if you want to hang those breasts, hang it. That's your breast. <laughs> I think guys need to come to terms that uh, guys need to come to terms that this is what real women's breasts look like. I- uh, I've never really heard guys talk badly about it though. I always, I actually always find on my platform, like whenever I, oh my God, there was like a period where I, cause people weren't used to me not wearing bras all the time or people mm-hmm. weren't used to people wearing bra, not wearing bras all the mm-hmm. time. So actively like I'll be snapping and you'll be seeing my nipple, my nipples nippling, like, you know what I mean? And I would always get a certain type of women like in my DMs talking about where it's not classy, you are classless, where's your bra? Arr! And I'd obviously ignore it, but I never really got, I never get that from men. Like I've, I've never really encountered a man say hating. anything. It's always women. I always yeah, find that's women that say that because women have that women. expectation because they're, they're, they're the ones who've been conditioned. Hey, hey men so cares. Right, so listen, pop your nipple. <laughs> Sh- it's a Flaunce nipple. your nipples. It's, it's a nipple. Flaunce it. You know, I love, I nipple. love, Sh- I kind of find it sexy. I'm like, oh yeah, bad nipple is, Yeah, nipple is sexy. Okay, bad bitch. Nipples. Show the nipples. It's, it's, yes, show you, free your nipples. Show your nipples. Hello. It's, it's, it's part of us. It's part of our nature. I love it. Why am I hiding? Because rather than teaching your 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 men how to control themselves, I'm the one that should be covering covering my my nipples that God even gave to me. Yeah. 
God gave me this nipple. Period. But also the women, the women who yeah, have a problem with it. Down. Come on. I like, think sometimes it just comes from, I feel like it just comes them. from conditioning. Yeah, it comes from conditioning. Down. It's part of our bodies. I don't feel like we need to, Please. it's not our duty to, for men, f- for us to make, to, to, to help men feel control themselves and feel comfortable. Pattern your sons. Patting your sons, please, and maybe they don't. Want, maybe they want your breasts. That's why they're jealous. Yeah, man. But honestly, bro, I I want to do less bras as well. To be honest, no, there come and join me, please. Bras, but I was very sh- I was very insecure. Come and I was very me. insecure about my breasts for a long time. Really, you have got yeah. lovely boobs. What? They're shining through that top. Listen, when I off this bra, everything is gonna drop. And it. <laughs> and, so? As it should. Oh, cool. I was very insecure because I was like, bro, my breasts. Are you over not- it now? I'm over it. Oh yes, that's what I'm saying. Well, God, why? If I whip this breast, what can you do? Are you gonna tell me you don't like me again? You will shut. You will suck this breast. I keep saying it. I keep saying it. But do yeah, there was a point. Me. There was a point in time because obviously, you know, women like on the ones on TV, the ideal breast is high breast. Yeah. Chest uh, shelf seated, breast. Seated. Seated. Lift. Bonk. Mm-hmm. But then I started to realize. I started to. I started to understand, especially. And again, this is another thing that you know. Sometimes I feel like the older generation. Yeah, they didn't do enough to educate us about certain things when mm. i'm looking at my older counterparts this is the breast that they have and mm-hmm. i think one thing as well that f- i think this might have changed me you know there oh. was a there was a um there was a kenyan woman yeah i swear they always have these weird epiphanies in life and it's always either something on tv I love that. or something that's but there was a kenyan woman and i believe it was a uh, it was um breast awareness month i believe mm. that's in october november mm. don't quote me and she literally, obviously, in some Kenyan cultures, they don't wear clothes. Mm. So they will have the tribal brace, uh, tribal necklaces and everything. And they will just hang their Either breasts. Boobs, yeah. But it's not in, sa- it's not, in, they, they, the camp doesn't sexualize, sexualize it. it. It's, it's supposed to embody, you. it's supposed to represent your womanhood. Mm. So she was teaching women how to check for bumps and lumps and the right way to do it. Check the nipple, check the side. But her breast, she had woman breast. She had droopy woman breast mm. and she was on national tv showing people mm, how to mm. and it really inspired me because i was I like wow that. this is what a woman looks, looks like. like and she yeah. was just she reminded me of a warrior woman i can't Ooh. explain there was something very there was powerful. something very powerful about her mm. just on on national european tv with breasts that the society has told you not to have mm. and you're educating people on how to check for lumps for breast cancer and i think that's what i think that's kind of was the catalyst of what made me kind of embrace mine and mm. and just appreciate mine yeah so yeah there's sometimes where the in aesthetically mm. sometimes you have to raise the breast a bit Absolutely. but i've come to terms with my body <laughs> just mean you have to raise the breast just the, but i've come to terms with my breast and my body yeah and um yeah i'm i'm, I'm really happy i'm happy with them i'm we really happy with them we have to be like we literally have this one life where better accept every single aspect we better and people and the thing is let me tell you something fast. yeah because because then you have a lot of immature like uh, women in relationships yeah and, like, they might have guys in their relationships where they're like oh yeah your breast or they don't bang or do, you know that <laughs> not, not, your breast don't bang your breast don't bang your breast don't bang yeah. can you but imagine you know, there's a lot there, a lot of people's insecurities come from what yeah. other people have said to them you mm. know oh girl go and grab a car uh, sorry the candy floss in my mouth so nice girl speak mm. your truth girl oh you had it already me, I've cleared mine since. My goodness. Me, I ate mine from the beginning. I don't know what you were still doing. <laughs> I ate mine from the beginning. That is so funny. But yeah, big up all the big up all the hanging breast gal down my mouth for real. Period. And the, if you got high breast, if you got flat chest, every big chest, you. big up you, every shape and size, me like you. <laughs> me like you, me love you. Like seriously. Anyways, you you get to know that I'm half Jamaican. <laughs> you and Shia are both half Jamaican. <laughs> no, Shia is really, really Jamaican. You are you actually though? <laughs> no. <laughs> In the spirit. You know, piss me off. You I'm piss, so fake. You stress me out. So you piss. I love it though. Let me try my Jamaican accent. Go on. Tell me something to say. Um, you want food? Me want food. Oh Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> I'm really bad at accents, though. I'm really bad. Okay, give me a me, good accent. Um, okay, tell me. Tell no. I'm, tell me, was that? Tell me. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> what were you about? That to was just me do? thinking. I said, um. Oh, but no, tell me. Give me an accent, and then you know. Give me Scottish. I said, give me accent. That one is hard. Um, I'm from Scotland. I go to school in Scotland. I'm from Scotland. Anyways. <laughs> So we're gonna be- <laughs> Give me your Scottish accent. Give me yours. My name. <laughs> how how dare you? Excuse me. 
At least mine actually started with something. What what the hell was what? that? Like, let me not even bother. I'm not even gonna bother. I just don't think Nigerian people are good at accents. Do you know what? I think we've been conditioned with our own. <laughs> the only, fam, that accent is strong enough to carry three accents. I'm not fam, gonna lie to the you. The Nigerian accent is so strong, yeah. It's so strong. Forget it. I could do a good American accent. I can't. Go and do yours. Um, my name is Joyce and I'm from um from. I think this is a Texas one. You ain't you ain't bad. You ain't bad. I'ma give it to you, girl. Do you know what? That was actually good. Because, you know, like, I'm the, yeah, like, you know what I mean? I like that. Oh, that was good. Should I pick up you? Do you know what? I'm like, don't be guessing me. Don't be guessing me. Don't be guessing me. Don't be guessing me. It's one of those junk things that, you know, those talents that you find out when you're drunk, but if you do it again, sober, it's going to be awful. So never do it again. But honestly, that was good. That was good. You killed This is recorded. So you have this as evidence. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Let's move on to the novel. The novel one. Let's move on to the next one. Win or bin? Color blocking. Win. Win. Talk to me. Win, I love it. I think it's going to be a madness this summer. Mm -hmm. Also, you know, young little promo out there. Something is coming out real soon. Real soon. That's going to allow you to do a bit of color blocking. But I do. I love, I love it. I think, I think fashion, oh, fashion. Woman woman is cooking in the kitchen. (laughs) No, she's been cooking on this one for like two years. I can't lie. Wait, is it fashion based? I don't know. Oh, you've got to give us something. I don't know. I don't know. Come on, man. I can't, I can't. You know what? I can tell you because it's going to be out soon. Give me something. Guess. I feel like you can guess. I would. I don't think anyone will be surprised, but I think they'll be like, you finally. Get, you didn't get that guap thing, did you? What? The fashion presenting? No. no. Oh, no, no, no. It's no, nothing no. really presenting. It's more, um, it's fashion. Yes. This is the perfect segment for you. I did. Yeah, I love fashion. Uh, yes. But like, get, like, get, it's fashion. Fashion. It's, is it a fashion show? No. It, it allows, it's. Is it like body confidence? No. Um, it's a complete step outside of, of presenting. It's a complete step outside. That's all I'm going to tell you. A line? A line? No. Might be lying, might not be. Oh, no. I don't we know. Got, come on, give us something, man. I don't know. You might be right. You might not be. Who knows? I don't, I don't like this game. I've been holding this one in for like literally a year and a half. But yeah, it is it, 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 it very much fashion. It is very much something that you'll be able to hold. Uh-huh. It is something that is I can't, you can't hold it 10 out of 10 like physically. you can hold it physically you can hold it physically okay so you got some line coming out something physical okay i'm happy with that i won't press on it guys <laughs> just make sure you got your coin get it get, no it's going to be as in i do you know what the okay, thing about fashion for me is like i think fashion is should not be limited to one thing and mm-hmm. i feel like certain brands have made fashion feel or not brands let's not even blame the brands i think certain spaces and people and whatever have made mm-hmm. fashion feel very limited and i saw that at the mobos because i don't know what's going on well you don't like the ginger <laughs> you know like <laughs> it's not that bad That's it's awful. not that bad the pink one is like the best part sorry Kurt Scott decided to make me a ginger beer drink and she knows how I feel she's she, not a ginger beer babe you know how I, anyways these lot know how I feel about this shit <laughs> <laughs> it's not the worst it's alright but yeah um, you, at the mobile what was I saying yeah, yeah. The same thing at the mobile boards I've noticed that I don't know if it's a UK thing or what but I do definitely feel like we don't own fashion enough like we don't in, we don't embody it enough like Agreed. there wasn't especially as like you know artists and especially those kind of people why are you wearing that why is that the drip you chose to wear to the mobos today yeah honestly it we don't embody it. i remember in, even at the brits i saw some of the boys like you know wearing chocolate choc- and, and, like, and top no top genuinely like, jalamia at this like, point like what the <laughs> hell is, what, why 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 are you wearing that and it infuriates me like it really because i'm like fashion it is the one time mm-hmm. imagine like I, you just get to just go out wear something so cute so nice yeah. so colorful so meaning you know what i mean take a nice picture like enjoy your life but instead you want to wear sugar toe and top like no so i don't know for me like i love 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 fashion i think color blocking is like one of those things as well it's like yeah you don't have to stick to the same color pal- palette there's a way that you can merge the blue and the green depending on what shade of green it is and it yes, will work honey. it will be a bad bitch you know what i mean so hey! you know what? i'm so excited <laughs> and honestly one thing i the first thing i noticed about you is 
definitely your fashion sense mm-hmm. like you honestly i think this will be an amazing amazing project Thank to see you. and i'm excited obviously guys we've got a little bit of an exclusive we didn't have the full boom 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 no but we yeah <laughs> do you know what as long as we have dm so color blocking we are winning yeah we're I winning we're winning we're winning we're winning again you're absolutely right summertime we're gonna come in we're gonna see i again i'm trying to do color this summer oh anyways. blue is gonna be the color this summer do you know what blue on my skin. blue and you're wearing blue Oh, are you? You're no, wearing but blue. Like a, like a royal blue or any blue? It will be like a, um, what kind of blue? It will be like a light blue, like that blue. Okay, yeah. I listen, think that blue is going to be in this Don't somewhere. worry. If I need any fashion tips, I'll just be looking <laughs> at you. Please come and help me. And the final, final one. Are Go you on. ready? Yeah. Final win or bin, we've got platform converses. I have one, so yes, yeah, a win. I saw some idiots <laughs> <laughs> on Twitter talking why can't women do anything <laughs> why can't because they were like oh the, those platform converses they're so ugly like and i really like them honestly honestly I sometimes i see tweets and then i go i just i just so happy to go on the person's page and you're just like I look at their picture look at your I'm shoes like, look at your face <laughs> like what I have heard that comment before, though. I I did, I, <laughs> I wore the com- the platform Converse, um, but mine has like a brown. It, so the platform is actually brown, whereas mm. like the the Converse itself is black, right? And I had so many people in my DMs like, "Wimmy, what is your obsession with ugly shoes?" <laughs> you know I you do I like just a I, I love you it. Wear this shoe. I'm not oh. gonna lie. I'm gonna be honest. Now that we're friends. There was a shoe. It was a. I don't know what the shoe. It was a platform. It was a platform. And it was, was like a yeah. trainer platform shoe, and I it was given it. like it, it was given like emo. I love it. But you know what? I wasn't mad at it because again, you're like me. I love crazy people. I love people that do different <laughs> shit. So when I see certain shit, I'm like, okay, live in your crazy girl. Live shit. your crazy girl shit. If you want to wear the, if you want to wear, as long as you don't wear the boot, the boot trainers. <laughs> no. The, the, you know the wedge trainers <laughs> no. that one we have to draw no, the that line no w- that was scary that was a scary time that was a very was scary time that. That was we have a scary to draw the line time. somewhere that was scary but, but I like it though I like I, like you I, I really do enjoy people really being playful with fashion yeah. like, one day I do wake up and I'm like I'm an ego, a emo babe and next day I wake up I'm like I'm a bad bitch and next day I might wake up I'm like I'm an elegant classy queen you know what I mean so what vibe I wake up on is how I'm gonna dress we and love that's the, how I love it we love the dynamic we you love the dynamic mean? you know what I mean and I, I, do you know what honestly I'm really excited about this new project and I think this was a great way to just hear your mind about fashion because i don't think anyone's really i never yeah been i don't passionate about i it. think i do you know what you're right i don't think it's something that i'm vote. i actually don't i it's weird because when you're like the one interviewing people mm-hmm. and stuff a lot of the time it takes away the time or the room for you to ever express yourself or like your loves and your whatever do you know what mm-hmm. i mean so i don't think i've ever explicit expi- eh? explicitly spoken about fashion in the yeah. way that I have today but genuinely I, I I think fashion is an expression you know it's art it's it's you expressing how you feel so yeah honestly I'm very very excited do we have a timeline yeah no end of the month oh so it's really and, it, and it's gonna end back like it's going to be crazy it's going to be crazy I Guys. I really believe yeah creatives and this is probably why yesterday I was infuriated because I was thinking I love David O so much. I right? do. I love your artistry. We do. I wanted a fop- I wanted a show. I wanted a showdown. I we wanted to horses on that. D- like, do you know what I mean? Like, I wanted the full thing. But that's how I look at creativity. Like, I'm always like any creative person. I probably support. I I I, I fuck with your shit even more when mm-hmm. I see when I see it as a production. Like when I see the energy and the vim that you put into it. So you'll never catch me drop anything. That is not with full vim, full anything creative anyway, without it being full vim, so full everything. Give us 10 I'm giving you're going to it's it's going to it's going to be very serious. Very, very serious. I cannot lie. I'm very excited. I'm excited. Don't worry, guys. This one is low din. <laughs> Period. <laughs> bit about you obviously we're going to dive in a bit more but we want to test your intelligence hey you don't know i don't like 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 stupid people hey (laughs) (laughs) obviously we have this segment in which we ask our co-hosts about their cultural knowledge and we call this section oh my gosh (laughs) yeah are you smart pre-warning i'm about to fail this drastically but go i'm on. not gonna lie last week i had moses on yeah. well not last week obviously i took a week off yeah, but yeah. the week before week that before. i had moses this guy is he got one right right yeah. out of ten yeah 
Everybody was in the comments fighting me. Ah, oh, Joyce, it was too hard. It was too hard. You don't, you Wait, know. give me an example of a question. Can't do that. Okay. Should have watched the show. See? Fuck's sake. See? You're not smart. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Are you smart? I think so. Yes, I'm very smart. I think. Shit. It depends. There's certain... Do you know me? I will happily own my place, boy. Me, when it comes to certain academic to- topics and da dum bum bum I don't be sitting in them rooms. So I, listen, I, you will start throwing them words out there. I'll be like, this is not me. Okay, see ya. But, you know, certain realms, I'm, I'm driving. Let's, let's go. Let me even stop talking. Go on, hit me with the questions. Okay, cool. So, we've got 10 questions. Yeah. Obviously, there's no timer, but okay. you do have three seconds to answer the question. If you don't know it, you say pass. You only get one go to try the question. You can't give me free, you can't be like, no, it's Bobby, no, it's Ricky, no, it's Adam. You just get one. Okay. If you get it wrong, I will tell you. Mm-hmm. Are you ready? Always ready. Right, so we're gonna cue the music. Dum, dum, dum. People need to stop fucking doing that. <laughs> just wait, <laughs> because there's no music. So they will start singing. <laughs> they need to stop. Only dum, the audience. Dum, 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 just, dum. I'm sh- that does not sound like game show. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, hit me. I'm trying to I'm trying to I'm trying to not answer these questions. She said <laughs> If Mariah Carey was to do a game show quiz, it'd sound like that. Period. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Which actress stars in Netflix series Self Made, inspired by the life of Madam CJ Walker? I have no idea. It is Octavia Spencer. I love that for her. How many series of The Crown are currently available on Netflix? Seven. Incorrect. Four. Oh. Sure. What is the title of Doja Cat's debut album? Warm Man. No, it was self-titled Doja Cat. Who, according Fuck. to Kanye West, doesn't care about black people? George Bush. Correct. Period. Number five. What Disney show did Zendaya star in? I know this. Um, fuck my life with the girl with the red head. Yes. What is her name? What is the name? It's not good luck, Charlie. No, listen, I know this. Um, Five. I'm dance really, off? Dance no. off? No. No, I know it though. But you don't. Fuck. What's it's it Shake It Up. Shake It Up. I actually knew that. Okay. Just, just, just shake it up. It should count because I know the song. Do you know what I mean? Because I know it, so you know I know the song. You still, you shush, shush, get, shake it up. You didn't get the point. Get a shake it up. That was a good show. Singing doesn't help. <laughs> <laughs> what was the name of Rihanna's last album? And double points for what year it dropped. Rated R or Rated X in 2019. Incorrect. It was anti- and it dropped in 2016 we have had not me- no music from rihanna since 2016 and we're not getting it so everyone should just leave her alone we're gonna get it we're gonna get it we're gonna get it this year 16 17 18 19 20, we're gonna get 20, it this year six mm-hmm. do you know a child that's six can walk and talk we're not getting an album we're getting an album this year we're not getting it. when it comes i'll send it to you <laughs> Be like i told you come in i believe it <laughs> quote me on this put the time stamp <laughs> <laughs> number seven yeah. how many of the jackson five are still alive Oh, four. Correct. Who is the fashion designer in the pic- Disney Pixar movie, The Incredibles? The name. Don't sleep on this. Don't sleep on the question. <laughs> I know, because I feel like I should know this. I'm even disappointed. I don't know. Edna Mode. Oh! It was right there. No. It, <laughs> Edna Mode. <laughs> okay, number nine. What is the name of Meg Thee Stallion's alter ego? Hat Girl. No, Tina Snow. <laughs> <laughs> which platform, ha- which, which <laughs> social media platform <laughs> has the highest video streams? Read that question again, please. Which social media platform has the highest video streams? Which social media platform has the highest video? Which social media platform? Yeah. TikTok. Correct. You seem surprised that you got that one. No, it was more like, I mean, is it not? It's TikTok, isn't it? Yes, yeah, TikTok. Obviously, they said that the questions last week were hard. No, this one was fairly decent. But I don't know, know how I was... What? To be honest, you got free. So, <laughs> so, it's, not, so it's not that. That's what I'm saying. 
<laughs> Everybody said that I'm bad. I actually got four because you were just being the cheater. <laughs> I should have got the shake it up thing because I know the song, so I know the show. You singing the song? Shush, 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 shake it, it up. You, you gotta shake song. it. Listen, I know that. I used to actually love that show. Oh. That was the prime. Honestly, no one could come in the comments and say this wasn't easy. <laughs> I gave you fuck off. No, but the incredible question. and the incredible one, incredible whatever. How She's how iconic. Edinburgh oh. Mode is iconic. That little short woman, the little French woman. Oh, she is iconic. Oh. Come on, guys, respect mm. respect it. No. Anyways, Wumi, you got three out of ten. Terrible man. Which to be it's better than your guest last week, sure. Okay, so. he he is at the bo- very very bottom. <laughs> And then I believe it's you. <laughs> <laughs> what did Shia get? Shia, you actually, Shia got seven. <laughs> Say no more. <laughs> what questions you know, did you ask you her? Know, Shia went to Warwick. Do you know what I mean? That girl, that girl is just not. Expedition. <laughs> okay. That one is. That one makes that sense. One is that, that actually makes sense. Our intellect queen. I love it for her. Shout out to Shia. Big up, Shia. Shia's, the, Shia's even the highest one. She's even the. She's even really? The, she's the highest? Yeah, she's the highest. Oh, shit. <laughs> Next time I'm on, I'll aim for six. At least get halfway. These were easy. Honestly, these are you think really, so? yes. I honestly I Okay, really let me ask you one question. Let me ask you. Go on. What is the name of the new That's So Raven rerun in 2021? Raven's house. Cool. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Fine. Fair enough. <laughs> Who is the cast member that is new? Who is the latest <laughs> cast member that has been put on the, um, House of Raven or whatever the new show is called? There's there's someone new that came from the old That's So Raven. Who is it? Adrian Bailone. You didn't know that. I don't. I don't even. Wa- I don't even watch it. I just. I, knew it was I, just, I heard house. about it the other day. To be fair, and I saw Adrian Bailone. And I was like, oh, that's sick. I don't even know who Adrian Bailone Adrian, is. Adrian, remember the girl that was um. Uh, remember you? You watched that so Raven, right? I did. Do you remember the the Alana, the mean girl? No. Alana. No. Ah. Oh, the posh, the posh uh, dark skin girl. No, she wasn't posh. She wasn't dark skin. No idea. Fuck. Do you know my? Do you know my personality actually stems from that's a Raven? And you don't. No, 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 no. I think the people in the comments need to let you know that 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 how about they focus on the fact that you got three you out of ten? <laughs> <laughs> because you're not gonna check on for me. <laughs> because I don't know who Adrian Bellana is. <laughs> Adrian Bellana, the she- cheetah girls. The oh, other, the cheetah girls. Yes, the other cheetah sister that she was also the Spanish Sarah babe. Even. Yes, yeah, but- I know her. The Spanish babe, I know her. You should have said that. I don't know if she was in um Yeah, no, she's she's part of the new cast member. She's a teacher or something like that. Big up her. Period. Big up her. Get your get your Disney Show coins. What the fuck? <laughs> get your Disney Show coins. <laughs> Alright, guys, let us move on. We are going to move on to hot topics of the week. Mm. And with that being said, we're gonna start with our hot releases. And the first one is um, Dave just dropped a new song called Starlight, which is a is it a rendition or it has like the the, oh, yeah. the tracking of Fly me to the moon, mm-hmm. let me play among the stars, swing, do, 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 swing, do, do, do. swing, let me swing, see the swing, swing, that swing, have. swing, swing, the swing, the swing. <laughs> Oh, that was a good little Honestly, situation. Sh- Seriously. Truly. Guys. Get me in the booth. Get me in the booth. Hey. <laughs> you know I can freestyle. Anyway, can I'm you? Freestyle, yeah. I'm not going to do it. I can't. Um, that's one thing I'm not going to lie Can about. you sing? You look like a singer. Oh. <laughs> Anyways, uh, Dave just dropped a new single called Starlight. <laughs> <laughs> Have you heard it? Um, I haven't actually listened to it. Not oh, yet, girl. Not yet, but, but I've heard so much about it. Talk to from me. everyone. I've seen, like, obviously, I know that so many people went to your show the other day. Did you oh. go? It looks crazy. Honestly, it I want to crazy. Honestly, seriously, I want to know where everyone's getting free tickets because can I just say, I love maybe the music blogger car, uh, but still, <laughs> someone needs to someone needs to point me to did her. Did she get hers for free? I bet she did. It's Mimi. Of course, Mimi got her. To be fair, free. she'll be talking yeah, about it on Twitter. Mimi's the type to pay for tickets. She's she's a she's music a musical head lover. Genuine. But because oh it's Mimi God. the music, like I wouldn't charge. I wouldn't let charge Mimi the music to come to my show. Yeah, I'll be like Mimi blog it's about Mimi. it. Girl. It's Mimi the music blogger. Blog but about my show. God. 
damn, I need mm. to know who's taking her to these places. But I, I feel like you would, you are well within your rights to also be going to yes! free. Yes, I'm somebody. <laughs> to them. Not enough for them to be. No, you, you, no, don't listen, worry. This is your year. This is your, this is. Listen, I need to be shaking my ass with Dave Period. on the stage. Did I ever tell you that time that I met Dave? No. I never told you what that happened? time. What happened? Go on, tell me. Look, 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 look. Did I ever tell you that time? No, go on, tell me. What happened? I want to know. I want to know. I want to know. Tell me. So I went to Afro Nation. Can I just say, I love Dave. I like Dave. David. Oh, my Dave. Is it the music you love or the person? Everything. Oh, I love that. The music person. He, like. I, I had the pleasure of meeting him mm. at Afro Nation. First ever Afro... No, it wasn't Afro Nation. Tell a lie. It was um, Stormzy, Ibiza. Um, yeah, yeah. What's Murky that Fest. Murky, Murky Fest. Fest. First ever one. We were at... I was at the airport waiting for my... Waiting for the plane, innit? Yeah. I wouldn't be waiting for the bus at, bus at the airport, but the plane. <laughs> and I was waiting for the plane. Yeah. And I was at the vendor machines talking to my girl. Mm-hmm. And I see his long neck at the vendor machine yeah the man has a very long like i'm trying to put the scenario he's very tall he doesn't look tall <laughs> but he's about six one yeah or, about my hair yeah six <laughs> this bitch don't like don't like you know she, you know, woman what's your what's your height <laughs> five foot three she's very small but today to be fair when when i came in on tour i was like oh, about the same height Period. yeah because when you're you're when you're fuck off it, do, it, it doesn't matter it doesn't matter to be honest you're like shy <laughs> that i thought was very tall and then when i saw her i was like oh bitch you yeah. on the ground you on the bitch you, you on the ground <laughs> you two you're on the ground with her. i am <laughs> we are on the ground together we do no, but i love those i love petite Tiny i love it babes. i love a petite babe <laughs> i wish i was i wish i was five to you no your height is sexy very nice height. oh thank you very sexy high period i love it I love it. anyways back to the story Let me go go on, go so i saw him at the vendor machine yeah and I remember freezing. I was thinking, "Fuck, that's Santan. Oh my days! I love him." Um, and um, yeah, he. I went over on like a fan, as you do, and I said, "Do you know what? I'm not gonna lie to you. Yeah, yeah I really like you, and I like your music." And he was like, "Oh, do you know what? Thank you." And he was like, "How do you use this vending machine?" So obviously, the vending machine is one of those contactless things. You don't put money in it. You contactless. You put the you put your card on it. Mm. So obviously, I was like, oh, I just was like, okay. So what you have to do, you have to press this and tap your card. But as I was pressing it, my hand was shaking. I was like, you have to press this because I was so nervous because it's it's Santan fucking day. <laughs> I was like, oh, you have to press this, and my hand was shaking. So I had to control my hand from shaking. So the wind is crazy. Can you imagine? Yeah, I trust me. I was now holding the thing, trying to press it. <laughs> But yeah, he was lovely. Like we literally spoke for about twenty minutes. Like he mm. just sat and spoke to me. He was telling me about his music. Um, oh my god, was, I love that. Yeah, literally. Like he probably took the time to chat to me. Like not even on a so lovely to meeting. I was, he was like, "Oh, you're funny." He told me I was funny. He's like, "Oh, right, you're funny." You know. <laughs> 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 Obviously, I had to play it cool. So I was like, Thank you. Yeah. He's like, "Oh, you." He told me I look Ghanaian. I was like, "No, it's just a chocolate." <laughs> just me. And then I showed him my video. I showed him the video of me screaming to his music. Yeah. At the, Mikey Fest was just quite embarrassing. <laughs> um, I don't know why I did that, but it's, it's something I would do. And yeah, he was really cool. Like we were sitting down talking about music and stuff, talking about um I, I was that. I was playing him some music I liked, and then yeah, that was it. And he was like, Bye Joyce. And I was like, Oh my god. I <laughs> love oh my god. That. Like he was so down to earth. He was I just loved his neck. And he, he honestly he so you just his, loved his neck. Yeah, he's he's just, he has a long neck. He does from what I remember his neck is relatively long. And uh, you know there's some, you know there's some things you don't know you're attracted to, and you think you're attracted to next, and then and then all of a sudden you see it and you're like that's kind of nice. Like for example, I love Moses. Moses is my brother, but Moses was across to me the other table, <laughs> across the table to yeah. me, and he has like obviously he's a gym guy which I don't really like. Yeah, but he had all these veins running down his arms, and I thought, hello, <laughs> do you know what? I think I like that. You know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, veiny. All right, I, I don't know. That's the way, but I, like, I kind of like that, you know. <laughs> but I don't tell him now. He's gonna know. Fuck. <laughs> oh, that is so funny. But yeah, honestly, Dave, the song is amazing. Yeah. Have you actually? Do you? Are you a music person? I am a music person. You know, I do. I love my music. You know, yeah. UK music now. I think I I think UK music's about to get better. Hundred percent. I hope so. I really. When really I look at the likes of like Central C and Digger D. Yes, like, right. amazing. Even Central C this Central week C. went number one for his mixtape. Absolutely a label. incredible. Without, Without a, label. a label, absolutely amazing. I think, Killing it. and I think he even went number one in the Killing US it. as well. Like, bruv, UK is taken over. Do you know? Yeah, sometimes I look at the map here. Mm. Do you see the the size of the UK? The beep, beep, beep. The pinch of and then the world, and, or, then, and even America. And in terms of, and how this small. It's, 
Don't you ever think about how this small island, no. this small chin 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 island, is making so much noise? Running things, bruv. What? Well, I don't think you know running things. Nah, sorry, yes. we're, we're running things. Sorry. What things are we running? I don't know, but I have to. I'm, I have to we say will it. be. We will be. But just look how small we are. You know bruv. what's running things? What? Nigerian artist. We are running. Yeah, 100%, 100%. We are fucking up the streets. No, and I'm loving every I'm loving minute it. of it. I'm like, oh, my people. Oh, my people, yes, sir. <laughs> I love it. Like the Bellish Murders of the World, Oxlade. Who else is there? The new Iris Star. Do you know what? She is amazing. And we're literally, we are going to move on to the next topic. Actually, now I want to talk about day go for on. a minute. Let's talk about day for a minute and then I'm going to move on to Afrobeat artists because you're just... Oh, oh, oh look at me! I didn't even see your plan. Wow, look at me. In sinking. The spirits is moving. In sinking. Look at the spirits. It's moving. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. But Thank you, Jesus. But yeah, honestly, I, I remember seeing, uh, seeing... I didn't go to his concert, but I remember yeah. seeing um, snippets of his concert. Um, I don't know what he sold out. Was it the O2? O2. Crazy. fucking phenomenal Crazy. like the guy is Crazy. brilliant Ooh. i think he's the only artist and one thing i say about any sort of artistry mm. whether that is podcasting music dancing i like people that know every single aspect of their craft mm. i feel like as a it's not enough for a musician to just know how to mm. sing and just know how to rap yeah. I would suggest every musician, for me, should yeah. know how to know instruments. Should yeah. know more. Should know the comp, the components of, of music your of your craft musically. What is it? If I ask some of these rappers, what's the F key? They don't know. What is the C key? They don't know. Like seriously, Dave not only plays guitar, he plays piano. Yeah, he plays inspiring. everything. Like mm-hmm. it's not. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, that's cool. He could just be a rapper, but when you are you you are a genius when you know every single element in your craft and you know who's a prime example of that and mm-hmm. we've watched it evolve is literally Kanye West oh 100 percent that man a producer I'm sure I'm sure I don't know if Kanye can play instruments but I'm telling you yeah it's one of those things where when you know your shit like the back no of your one can hand step to you and not just like for example me as a podcast host yeah I don't just I, I before I had to obviously now I'm at, I'm at a place where I've I've now got a producer where I can delegate work. I don't edit mm-hmm. anymore, thank God. But when I first started, you I were editing your editing videos. All my shit. I love that. I know how to edit. I know how to. I know about sound. I know about the visuals. I know how to. I know how to color grade. I, love that. I know yeah. how to. I know the difference between yeah. volume and gain and yeah. this and I had. To, but that is so important. Anybody that is doing anything needs to know not every aspect of what you're doing mm-hmm. and so, and the thing mm-hmm. is if if not if not every come on at least 67 no percent everything. i i do you know what I, the only reason the only reason i, I might not agree with saying everything mm-hmm. is because i sometimes i think that maybe having a cusp of like a under maybe understanding uh-huh is different from like knowing like innately like for example yeah. like how to edit because just sometimes I'm like if you pour more into the actual like craft mm-hmm. then it puts you in like in a better position so I do hear you but then yeah. I'm also just like maybe not like everything, everything. not like not because you can know everything but then you can't like be great at you, everything no, 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 do you know absolutely. what I mean no 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 it's never to be great you can only be great at certain things yeah but to have an idea like for example like I don't like one thing that when I started someone someone told me something you cannot be in the mercy of other people like oh my god like, imagine, yes imagine like you as a as an artist your yeah. producer flops you what are you gonna do nothing like imagine me as a, as a host like if I if, so, if my if my editor decides oh sorry my wife is pregnant so I can't I can't it. edit this and week. Two days before, I'm. I'm gonna sit there and be fucked. Now I'm gonna get. I'm gonna open my computer, and get it cracking because mm. I know how to do it. Mm. That's, that's I get, just yeah, me. And that hundred percent like makes sense. That is exactly the type of artist I feel like Dave is and why he t- is advantage. My guy plays guitar. He knows, and I'm telling you, he probably knows. He probably knows when you get to a scale like that, you need to know more. He probably knows how. Uh, the the staging works mm, what the stage mm. manager does what this i think it's Cause, vital man because the thing is you don't even have to like utilize your skills in those spaces mm. unless it's like necessary because it could yeah. just be that you just know so even when your producer is doing a little bit of and it's not really making sense in your ear you're like, you're like no turn the ee to yeah, do you know what i mean like that's not the sound that i need to be hearing whereas like if you're just a you know in the stars don't really know what's going on any ee that your producer's giving you'll be like oh You'll be singing along yeah, with. Do you know what? <laughs> this analogy has killed me. 
exactly that. No, a hundred percent. No, what you're saying is bang on. I hope someone on. understands it. You don't need to be. You don't need to be a. You, you don't need to just be a for you to many. just know. You just just need to know. know. Just, you just know. Need to yeah, it is. It. Someone actually on. called me out on that years ago. I think it was it was um something, and he's actually my manager now. But he called me out on this like three, maybe four years ago. We were in a car one day, and he was just like okay but if i asked you who's your favorite da, 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 would you know right now like oh, why wow. like he'll be like you can name say the name but like why and i was like i because i just think i'm this da, da, da. i didn't really have like a, a proper response for him mm-hmm. but i remember that day and i was th- sitting down thinking to myself like how can i say that i want to be xyz and be in xyz position where if you ask me about the people who occupy the space at the moment i have nothing to say it's crazy it's crazy. Get it together. It brings you back to my acting days. Like you would have thought. That oh my god, I, you acting! Oh yes, yes. I, I, started, I can see you acting. I started. I can as an see actor. you acting. I'm, I'm an actor by by trade. I love yes. that. Yes, but it brings me back to my acting days. That like when you when you when you train as an actor, you yeah. don't just you don't just act. You actually have to understand your scenario, your surrounded soul from from you know who the first black woman that ever got an Oscar to the the black women that were occupying in the first times of acting to. Um, the musical theatre to to um, practitioners like you need to know in your you need pro- to know you need to act you like, need to know being talented is not enough these days I'm sorry if there's no longevity and, I, and and again going back to Dave for you to use for you to use a sample of something so old school and to make it modern and and hip hop and it look at hip hop and it fantastic but anyways i do want to so move many on. reasons why you should be arrested today hip hop and put anyways everybody knows my english is a remix love it whatever i say is in the dictionary period as it you should be you don't know be. me <laughs> whatever i say the spirit will put it in the dictionary <laughs> but i really want to move on to this next hot new release and that is feels and buju finesse now this only came out three why are you on your eyes this I song it. no i love it that was a happiness gone this only came out three days ago but honestly what the song the song officially came out three days ago but you know it was buzzing all wow. over tiktok it was buzzing all over tiktok absolutely phenomenal song mm. but when he performed it in the o2 Yesterday again the sound didn't no but you know what though i will say i will say he was the only performer who well apart from adekunia girl but i feel like adekunia girls uh-uh. Sorry, did you hear that yeah uh-uh. manas <laughs> do you know what hicc- it was a hiccup it turned into a burp i'm sorry, I'm sorry. it's okay baby but yeah um, it was quiet <laughs> it's no loud and clear but no um i feel like adekunia gold was he what did he even say <laughs> i can't even think now i Sh- sorry <laughs> Truly, this has been an experience. I'm so so. You know that someone's gonna ask me, "How did the podcast go?" She burped while I was saying. Do you know what? I swear to God, I hiccuped yeah, and the air came out of my mouth. I swear to God, that was so uncontrolled. No, no, the the air. I swear to God, I am so sorry. She said the air came out. We're not even halfway. Um, um, what was I even saying? So she, happiness. Yeah, I have no idea what the hell I was talking about. No Let's idea. Let's just have a song break. If I go, not my business. Why you can't harmonize it? It's not. It's not that song. Oh my god! You're so no. You're that oh type of god. person. You're that type of person. Yeah, that when someone is singing, like what song? You'll be singing a standard, standard song. Do you know and what? You try to do what let me let me runs. tell you why. Because in college, or was it sixth form or uni, whatever it was, I was in music class or whatever mm-hmm. and i could not harmonize to save my life so i think now when i'm in space with, no, when, I, when i'm in space with people who i know don't understand music at the level that like say like my people in like my music class or whatever did so they could call me out mm-hmm. i'll now try to harmonize to make myself feel better do you get what i mean because if i harmonize now you wouldn't you wouldn't tell me ah that sounds sheets they were in, back in school they'll be like with me you're on what a tone or whatever i'll be like i don't know what that means. so you did music i did music yeah what music I don't like know. singing or hey, um, yeah, I was singing. You know, I was in the um, what was it called, the choir kind of. In so you, oh, okay, yeah, I was a little performing arts babe. Do you know what I mean? Like, That's how you keep giving us runs. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. All right. But <laughs> well, you know what's mad? Like, I can't sing anymore. I don't know what's happened. You need to tra- maybe you. There's still something there. You need to train your vocals. No, I found a video of me in like years seven when i went i did like a school play uh-huh. or not a school play sorry like a, uh-huh. a some some sort of show and so at that point in life i really i'll show you after this but i really thought i could sing <laughs> i thought i was the lick and then i was playing it like obviously in recent years 
And all my friends are always like, woman, you sound the same. You're not good. <laughs> oh, no, but then I sang, um, what was it? Do you know, um, it's, it's time is cold and now I'm getting sick of us. I'm <laughs> is so bad and then i forgot the lyrics and one of, in one part of the song like i was like um i'm ca- so it's a live audience mm-hmm. i'm on stage and i'm like i'm counting up the years turn into but i got the lyrics wrong. i was like oh my god this you is the stage like, i'll show you the video i literally with my little knicker my shorts i had these like denim shorts on i was like oh my god and i was like sorry 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 it, i'm getting sick of first i'm counting yeah no literally now now i have to now <laughs> Now, any moment I get to sing, I'm singing. I have to. I have you know to. What? The you confidence know. is sexy, man. I'm here oh, for it. Oh, oh God. <laughs> <laughs> Last time, I'm sorry. Sorry, let's get back on Do topic. So let's, get back on. <laughs> let's get back on topic. I'm sorry. Hot topics of the week, baby. I love this. Go on, hit me. Okay, right. Feels would you finesse? Oh yeah, obviously yeah, the yeah, song, amazing song. Mm-hmm. Love the song. Obviously, yeah. it was a TikTok trend. It's recently come out um, two or three days ago, but I think people have already started making trend songs to it. So it was already kind of warming Big up. Song, yeah, I really, I love I that love song. It. I did think it was happiness, though. I didn't know it was finesse. It's ah, like, finesse. Yeah, I it's thought it was. I was like ah, penis. I thought it was happiness as well. Yeah. But it's the accent. But look at them for all stars. They could have made a good happy song if about happiness. Mama, trust me, they could have. You know, they look said at finesse. Them. I love if it I though. It was a business. vibe. <laughs> oh, that's the point I was trying to make. That although you couldn't hear them because everybody else was Need so hyped, there. no that's one cared. Tune, we were like ah, finesse. I loved it. That is a fucking a song. I've I been that song has been a on tune. repeat for me since uh, since uh, TikTok since it dropped. Music is because so TikTok good. grabbed it before, but there was no song out. Mm. TikTok is such a crazy platform. Do you know what? Honestly, like it's a truly, truly keep, crazy platform. People, people turn into overnight celebrities, man. I'm telling you, it's a crazy celebrity. platform. But yeah, let's quickly move on. Quickly, I don't know if do we have time for hot topics of the week. Give let's me. Let's just quickly talk it. Let's just quickly, hold on, hold on, hold give on. Give me, give me, give me. Okay, cool. Okay, I think we've got time for one hot topic this uh-huh. week. Um, we are going to talk about uh, Kanye West and Kim Kardashian this week. Do you know what? Yeah, I do oh, get quite tired God. talking. I do get tired talking about them. I'm not going to lie to you. But honestly, for the past couple of months, they have been hot topic like every single week. In your segment? And not in my segment, just generally. Like oh, I yeah. try not to talk about them because, my God, like we're, we're tired. But honestly, like every time they beat each other. And this week, Kanye West decapitates and buries Pete Davidson alive in disturbing new car cartoon music video as rapper launches another attack on kim kardashian lover on day she wins legal battle to be single as video is panned on social media for implied threats obviously this was cam- this comes from the daily mail and if you guys don't already know um uh, kim kardashian has been fighting to um be classed as single she is in now. the courts yeah now yes, she's single she finally um against Ooh. against everything that Kanye West wanted but yeah she's in the family single she's dropped her name Kim Kardashian West and just put Kim, Kim Kardashian. Kardashian and Kanye West dropped a video with his um title which is song titled Easy um that he did with the game and then he also quoted this lyric in the song God save me from the crash so that I can beat Pete Davidson's ass and in the video Kanye kidnaps Pete in the video and throws a bag over his head before tying him up and throwing him at the back of a vehicle and then he buried him alive. Have you watched the music video? I've watched the video. I haven't actually watched the video, but it's, I've seen the reports about it. It's a, it's a lot. Crazy. I don't, oh God, do you know what? Yeah, can't, it makes it so hard. Do you know what? Yeah, Kanye, it makes it so, you, you, you so make it difficult to, to like, to like yeah. you because honestly, you came out with a fantastic, fantastic. three-part video fantastic free part video your mum is the most amazing your mum was the one that made the whole video such a beautiful soul honestly like his mum is like an angel isn't she doesn't she's amazing she, d- like she emits a, such a good like force do you know what i thought it was just me her. because even when i was watching it i was like i can feel you i feel you like i, I really feel, feel you. everything so, you're about and you know what yeah. i mean like the message you're trying to convey in this world and i love it so and it, it feels good there was, there was such an innocence in her yeah like, it was like just so beautiful. pure so i pure. love it you have an amazing three-part series where we were where we 
get introduced we to your journey, to introduced you. to your life. Yeah. And my goodness, then you're just gonna do some of this bullshit. But I think also, um, there was an analogy I was like reading on Twitter where this girl was basically, what was an analogy? But she was basically saying that if we monitor the way that ki- Kanye's mum spoke to him, mm-hmm. you can tell that she was very aware that he also had like underlying health issues, like mental health issues. I, she, did, I saw that. I, I, Cause I, you saw the tweet? Yeah, I saw the tweet. But I, I, I actually, like when I was watching in it, I, when I was watching, I was talking about it with like my friends and stuff. Like, I did definitely feel like she was, she kind of dumbed down like a lot of her sentences, like the way she, she'll be like, it was very childlike and a lot of the way yeah. she, she was speaking to him, even when she was trying to tell him that he wasn't humble. She didn't say it direct, like it wasn't like a, you are not humble, relax, da da da. It was very childlike. She had to like add things and you know what I mean? Like yeah. really get him to understand. So I don't know. I think it's so annoying because I feel like I have so, I, I, like I, I really can offer Kanye so much grace, but mm-hmm. it's like, to what extent? To what extent? To what extent? I don't know because you know what? I Again, like I, I hear and I understand what people are saying, but is it that she knew he was he there there was um he had mental, mental health, health issues or was it just good parenting was it just parenting mm. it was loving parenting like i don't think i think that uh, in, in any true. sort of approach that is how you know in 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 a best way how a parent should parent their child in a way of love and i think she did it in such a way that was probably shocking to the black community because we that's don't the, see and that. we don't see that in a yeah. lot of our family households i guess also you know she she was a teacher so i guess her experience and her understand it's weird cuz i didn't know i didn't know that his mom was a teacher and his dad was a was um, a, a psych- Christian was marriage counselor or something like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like some a therapist. Therapist. Yeah. yeah. So you can imagine the amount of knowledge that Kanye would have gained. But also, I think even the mum, like, you can imagine that her way. I think that that you're right because even now when I think back to it, yes, you're right. It definitely is more so about the parenting rather than her being aware that you know he had me- underlying mental health issues. Though I still think there's some truth to that. Yeah. Because I think she said that or somebody said that he had like a mental um, breakdown at like six, seven years old or something. Wow. Yeah. So. I think that's there but then I, I think you're right because imagine our like I know my like my mum that raised me I know that she would if I say if say if I was seven years old and I had some sort of like mental what would be classified as like a mental breakdown she wouldn't see it as that she would probably see it as a more like a what's wrong with this yeah, what's wrong with this <laughs> child or you know what I mean? Like it would just demon. be a str- let's take us to church. It would just yeah. be a straight clap, 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 or you know, just something that's not of the kind. That's not what Kanye's mom represented. So I think, yeah. regardless whether it's a mental health thing, whether it's a you know a parenting thing, it, it's still a lesson of like how parenting should be done through Absolutely. and through. You know, from love, from lightness, from gentleness. Because we're so like even as the, at the age I'm at now, fam, I'm sacred. Like I'm you know I'm tender. Yes, I need some of Soft. I feel you. I do feel sorry for Kim though. I think. She- yeah, I, I think it's been. A, I spent. I think it's been a lot for Kim, and obviously, you know, it's it's like obviously. First of all, the the public outroars as well has been. It's not the great. I guess he's. I get get he is passionate, and you know, I appreciate him for publicly wanting to say that he wants his family back, he wants his wife back. I don't think it's the right way to go about things, but I think for Kim, it's a lot of pressure for her, not just for her personally. You know, she's going through a divorce, but also for her brand, for yeah. who she is, like for yeah. business, like it's not the best. And then Kanye has this girlfriend that looks exactly like her. That looks exactly like Kim. For, I don't know. If, I know there was a time mm. where um, Kim used to, when she used to travel, mm. she used to have stunt doubles. Oh yeah. To, uh, I didn't know she. Had yeah. So basically, um, obviously, if Kim Kardashian used to travel to, um, kind of what's the word to distract the paparazzi, they used to put stunt doubles so that they would follow the stunt double instead yeah. of the real Kim. I love that. I don't know if she was one of them. <laughs> if this lady was one of them. You know, I'm sense. being serious. I, she I would feel like sense. there was an episode of Keeping Up With The Kardashians where there was a stunt double and she was from Dubai. Oh, Is this girl from Dubai? This I babe? believe so. Really? I believe so. Oh my so. God, I wouldn't even be surprised if Kanye did that. Would you really be surprised? I believe I really so. I don't be. know if it's... Please, someone comment me comment if i'm miscorrect but she looks exactly like kim mm. kardashian yeah. in the face it's it's crazy i don't weird. think she looks like her in the face though because when she took up the only picture i saw that was like, oh kim was when she was wearing that black bodysuit or mm-hmm. two piece or whatever it was with the sunglasses but i feel like when she took her glasses i was like oh yeah this ain't no kim but you know i guess kim is kim is a transfer anyway who doesn't look like fucking kim? Do you know what i, I mean they don't a look like her. who's not trying to look like but kim? emotionally though like i i really can't imagine how she must be handling it mm-hmm. because when i look back at when i think back at i was watching there was like an episode that came up on tiktok it was like a short clip of kanye west in like the green room you know when you have that like, keeping up with kardashian like when they all sit down when they sit down individually to have their interviews to talk yeah 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 so kanye was in one of them and he was like 
this feels like where are the Incredibles and da, 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 da. But as he's talking, like it's like, what's he talking about? But not from as like a, from an audience perspective, it's like, what's he talking about? You don't sound here and you also don't look here because you're looking up in the air like it's very child like it's very it yeah. is a sign as, and you can look the way kim was looking at him i'll probably send it to you the way kim was looking at him you can just tell that she just was exhausted she was exhausted and on her toes that like, almost like she just has to make sure that you know don't say anything crazy be careful like yeah can you imagine how exhausting that must be honestly he definitely gives me and i think again like, from the dynamic of his his mother's relationship yeah. with him it definitely gives me he definitely does give me schoolboy, oh, um but he's an only child yeah. like my goodness like only children they're just generally they're just not normal only child who's also genius only child that's only that's also genius mm-hmm. and had such a, such an amazing mother that you know almost maybe in a way yeah. cocooned him from yeah the, from, from i think life. so i think so i think she cocooned him just because she knows i think sometimes when you're a passionate person but you scare people mm-hmm. because let's be honest how many people walk around here knowing that they're the shit truly kanye mm-hmm. walks around knowing he is the shit yeah truly insane and that's can, and that can be very scary for people's experience not in like an intimidating way but more so in a way that it, the intimidation would will, will reflect on the opposite way where it will mm-hmm. now be them like bullying you trying to undermine you and i think because kanye's mom is this is me just speculating but kanye's mom's a teacher so it, it's probably like yeah i do need to protect him because he's so passionate he's so intense about yeah. what he wants to do who he is uh you know let me let me protect him so you can you can definitely when he's interviewed with um oh who is this person um it was it's on netflix can't remember who but in the interview it was like a live interview and kim was sitting in the audience when he was talking about his mum he before he started talking about her he looked at kim and you can just tell that that his mum was at, you know when his mum was alive that was his protection now he's blank here right and kim took that position in a lot yeah. of ways and like not having her anymore that must have taken him to a whole, whole new level. level. Yeah, 100%. Oh my. 100%, that would 100%. have been mum times two. That's so sad. And I think that's why he kind of, why he, he really tried to, to get the family back together. And I think that is probably something he's still trying to do. Um, I, but I, I personally, I don't know. I, I hope that they get back together, man. Do I you really actually? Yeah, I do. Why do you I say do. that? I feel like for the sake of the kids, I know ah, obviously. Ah, no. No, no, I'm so tired. Um, No, no, genuinely, I feel so passionate about this. Uh Like where I'm like, I just don't hear it for the sake of the kids. I just don't hear it. Because as much as the kids are important, I'm also important. I'm also individual. Do you know what I mean? That I'm like, why for just the kids? I can't. Kim, run. Run. (laughs) No, 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 no. Genuinely, no. Kanye's too much. I'm a peacemaker. I'm like, yeah, I understand it. Obviously, I don't know the ins and outs of their relationship. I don't know. I can't say what Kim, what sorry, what Kanye has done and what hasn't done. Obviously, we see the public outs, but just from the public stuff, then we Joyce. Do you know? I'm not gonna lie. Just from the stuff that we've seen in public. Come on. I'm very toxic. If my man was fighting for me like this on public, I'd find it sexy. I'm sorry. I'm toxic. Like I said, I'm toxic. Arrest her. (laughs) (laughs) Producer, please. No, genuinely arrest you. That is. I'm like, oh my god! You see that? Honestly, you I'm see very that toxic. kind of thing, yeah. Toxic. That is the type of ish that I will like. Kim is better than me because Kim kept it classy and cute and didn't say like, a word. Oh my god! Like this is kind of. I would have been like Kanye. Like if a guy was going nuts for me on public, I'd like be no, so no, no. But I'm there's like, okay, no, no, oh lady, come on now, madame, like, oh madame. God. No, there's a difference between like a man going after you and oh my god, you know I love you. Come back to me. I'm gonna make things better for us. And a man talking about your the man that you're now dating. I'm alive because I'm supposed to kill Pete Davidson. Not gonna lie, I find it sexy. I would if it was me <sighs> and my man. And my man was saying this. Are, I will fuck up. You your, are I will fuck up. I will fuck up your new man you right are. now. Don't piss me off. I think part of me will be like part of me. And um, this is me. Honestly, one thing about the show, yeah, we have to keep it a stack. This is what a lot of women think. We probably be like, oh my god, not gonna lie, yeah, this is toxic, but it's kind of low key turning me on. I promise you. I promise you Comment below. from the, I promise you <laughs> I will below. I would find that I would find that thing exhausting like I cuz you know <laughs> you know what it is you know I genuinely I've put myself in Kim's position mo- multiple times where I've been like all this young lady wants is to go to the cinema with someone and talk about the film. Jeje, mm-hmm. that's all she wants. <laughs> no, uh, and we in a big jacket from Balenciaga and Miss Big <laughs> Shagless is <laughs> from uh, Tokoyoto. Like, no, like, I just want to go to the cinema with my man and talk about the film and go home and live a reasonable, happy life. Mm-hmm. This man don't eat. Uh, like, you? That cute. I'm sorry. No, call me boring. Call me whatever. But that would drive me 
absolutely off the wall. And I think that's what she's getting from Pete. Mm -hmm. It feels like he's given her this like normal life where she can just go to the bloody fucking cinema, yeah. watch a film, talk about why the lady dropped off in the film, laugh about it and go to sleep. Kanye West will talk about, I'm going to, the director of the yeah, film didn't start it off yeah. early enough. So now we've got to sue him. Yeah, no. when you're talking about the green There's and the grass of this scene, I could just t hear him just talking. Nah, he's fucking exhausted. Shut up. Just shut shut up, your mouth. No, no genuinely, movie. I hear Kim saying, shut up. Just watch the fucking movie. Do you know what? Just watch the fucking movie. It does not, everything has to be fucking deep. <laughs> no, but you, lady. I'm so confused. No, but I'm serious. Like, if, yeah, so no, seriously, I would find it sexy. So if, my, if, if, someone I, if someone I break up with <laughs> was doing all this stuff, I would actually find it sexy. I'm sorry. I'd be like, right, this guy really wants me back. Ew, I'm thinking about my ex, and if you did that, I would literally be like, yuck are you okay well if it's if it's someone that you hate like no i him. love him love him to pieces love him forever why are you doing that <laughs> <laughs> if it's someone that still had feelings for i'll be telling them i'm sorry question of the week <laughs> seeing that we are moving on from hot topics of the week let's move on to question of the cool. week god we are running over do you know this might be a two-hour episode this might be a two-hour episode. Two-hour wow, plus. Maybe in your longest episode. Of do you know what you actually? Do you know what? Yeah. Two minutes. I wouldn't mind because one. Am I that girl? <laughs> <laughs> Is that why I'm your longest episode? Yeah. You know, honestly, you're that girl. I'm not gonna lie to you. Is that you're why? You're that girl. Wow. I'm having. I'm having. I'm having a good time. The drink. Wow. I, I've seen, the sis has cleared her drink. You didn't. You don't like the ginger beer. No. You know what? It just gives me a twingle. And I don't know if it's a twingle that I like. <laughs> a twingle. <laughs> it gives me a twingle. I've never heard that word in my life. Coming from the queen of I create my own dictionary. Do you know, do you your know what thing, I mean? Listen, I'm you not even I mean? mad. Baby, do your thing. Two twinkle, episodes. twinkle, Fucking twinkle. Hell. But we are going to move on to the last segment. Question of the week. Obviously, mm. we ask the bad boys and bad girls on social media a question and they give us their insights and their opinions mm. on the topic. And I think this one was really good because it was inspired by something that I watched. And shout out to my Discord group as well. Mm. Um, because one of the girls from the Discord group actually put this question in. Her name is Tenga. So big up Tenga for putting that through. Are you ready for question of the week? Hit me, babes. Okay, I'm going to bring it up to you. Question of the week. Mm, let me find it. Let me find it. Okay, question of the week. Can you truly love a partner and not be physically attracted to them? Damn. Don't sleep. Damn. Um. Can you truly love a partner and not be physically attracted to them? Mm-hmm. I don't think so because I think you can date someone who is just not the cutest, not someone that you're, you're attracted to at first, or like at first encounter, but because your love for their, like love is one of those things. I feel like love, true love really just swindles, windles away the, the, the physical, mm -hmm. like the, the physical that you might see innately, like with you not being in love. Do you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. I think there's definitely been, I, I can imagine for me anyway, I can imagine not seeing someone physically attractive but then fall in love with them and they become everything that I just yeah. love. Like every little detail about them, I'm like, you're sexy, you're this. But I think it would be very, very, very weird to be in love with someone that you're not attracted to. Because I do think the attraction plays such a big role because why am I getting in bed with you? exactly what yeah, was it that attracted so can you can you can you meet somebody yeah. and not be attracted to them but fall in love with them and become attracted to them yeah i've i've had that situation yeah before. yeah definitely I, I personally for me i don't feel like you can be in a current situation and not have any attraction to your partner no. it's impossible and i feel like obviously this stem from the obviously do you watch love is blind no but i've heard loads of stuff about it on twitter well clearly you're Get off the show. No, <laughs> no, as in people, as in, uh, you know, I don't really watch shows. Like, that's one also. Thing oh, you're about like, me. oh, what do you I sit literally there and meditating and looking at ah, the charts? You obviously, guys, they're, they're, no, they're no, 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 no. Oh, arrest her. Like, there's like, there's been like three reasons why I feel like you deserve to be arrested today, <laughs> and I'm going to go through each one. But we're going to move on from that. No, you know what it is? I just, you know, I like, I like, diff I like documentaries. I like music. I just, okay. you know, whatever. But yeah, I mean, so I've, heard, I've heard TV, loads. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but just not, I just don't find love. So the, interesting. there's a guy, obviously, obviously, generally, the whole sense that's okay the whole sense of love is blind generally yeah. it just irks me because it's like it it, it makes pe it makes you feel like you being attracted to someone mm. for their looks is shallow mm. 
I don't think it's shallow. I think it's an innate character of a human being to automatically be attracted to things. Aesthetic is everything from what someone looks like for what things look like. Things, food is more appealing when it's patterned good mm. than when it's just slapped on a plate. Like mm. we're just humans. Our 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 mother, our mother, uh, Eve in the garden. <laughs> garden. What did they say in the Bible? When she saw the apple, it didn't it didn't feel good. It look it look. Mm. She looked at it and it was good. Everything in our in our innate human nature is to find things and people appealing. Mm. So I'm not sure what this when I see, see stuff like is love blind. Bitch, no, we're not love is blind. But that doesn't mean that there is that that there is not a person for everybody. I don't feel like there's a I think we're talking about is there a standard of beauty? Yes. Is somebody always beautiful to someone else and yes. not beautiful to another person? Yeah. Absolutely. Not everybody's everyone's cup of tea. Mm. Sadly we're in a we're in an age right now where beauty has become linear yeah oh yeah which is wrong because like i remember when i was because obviously i used to do study a lot of things about beauty and i used to like uh in 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 some villages being the bigger woman Mm. being a a, a big woman Mm. was considered to be more beautiful than a slender woman obviously when you're now going to more european places it's it's different Mm. the the dynamic has changed there's some women that they have like when they have a they have this like lip thing where then if they, they'll stretch their lip and the mm. bigger the plate the lip plate the more beautiful you are i don't feel like be- a beauty is linear beauty is whoever you want it to be but in relationships i don't feel like you can be unattracted to somebody no, i love not, them it's like not, what's it's that? not possible it's, it's not, not possible. possible because the reality is you will cheat accidentally by mistake by mistake i've done it it's you I cheat by agree. mistake i hear it how well, <laughs> <laughs> We'll can't we'll talk about it. No, but you're absolutely right though. Like you cannot. You I have just, to be attracted you will to be. your partner. You have to be. And that's not to say Otherwise, that love. Fan- otherwise, that love just ain't real. Because you I can't love- imagine you're in a club. Sorry, like imagine you're in a not even a club. You're with your girls, and your girls are just dunking on how ugly your man is, and you two, you're like, eh, 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 yeah, he's a <laughs> fucking piggy. <laughs> and then you go back to him, mm, little baby. No, you wouldn't even want to kiss them. No, and do you know what? Not gonna lie. Sorry to my exes that might listen to my show. I've dated some very ugly people. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. I've dated some really ugly men. I'm oh gonna be no. honest. There's some unfine men. Unfine. <laughs> Very unfine men that I've dated. I'm dead. But because I was so whipped on them, I yeah. saw the beauty in some sort of their aspect. And I'm talking very ugly men here, like very ugly men. When you look at them, you will not think that they're attractive, but because of my emotion towards them, yeah. I was sexually attracted. I would say, Oh, your dry lips so nice. Oh, you know, the way your 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 cheeks is is swelling, you're so cute. <laughs> your boobies is so great. It's like you when you're when you're in love with someone, everything, everything about them, everything like you were just them. saying, the intricacy of the person, everything becomes attractive. Oh. Even if they're ugly, you will find one thing. Bia is their eyes. Mm. Bia is the I've dated someone that had a cross eye. His eye was bending. And I really liked him. <laughs> I really liked him. <laughs> oh my god, she said his eyes are bending. His eye was bending, and I really and I was very, very physically attracted to yeah. him, even though his eye was bending. I do think you, you it's like a, the the attraction becomes a different level when the love is in there. Hundred percent. And the love won't be real if the attraction isn't there. I just I it can't imagine it. It goes hand in hand. Because how do you actually talk about your man when they're like, oh my god, what do you like find most attractive about him? Um, um his hat. <laughs> <laughs> the jacket he bought yesterday. Sorry, his hat. No. It's not it, but let me just read what the bad boys and bad girls said. So 68% said no, you cannot love someone and, and not Only be Only 64? 68%, yeah. 68? So yeah, can you, yeah. And then 32% yes. 32 are liars. 32% uh, said honest. yes. No, they said yes. Somebody said, um, I'm going to read this out. Aluru yeah. Chi said, I would have said yes. Yeah. Oh no, she's, she's saying no. I would have said yes because for me it's like I see you before I get to know you. I could be attracted to uh okay, well she didn't obviously finish the conversation, but I forgive her for that. But um somebody else said you can love the idea of them, but it will never be a true love since no attraction is there, in my opinion. Thank mm. you for that, Grace Ray. And also to her Fenny said when you generally love someone, it's beyond what they look like. So she's no saying facts. yes, you can. I agree. But honestly, but that, no, but it's but, but I, I but I think that's still our very very much our point. Uh, the point isn't that we're saying that the guy is going to me now be one buffoon that you think is absolutely butters. It's that the attraction will be there based off of the love that you have for the guy. Yeah, you were not. You There's know not I mean? been any There's, person that I've I've dated that and you've I have been like I've oh, been not attracted ew. to them. But at the same time, there's men I've dated that are not 
ideally attractive they're mm. not standard so the standard but also the standard isn't your business like it's any of our business period it's not my business <laughs> No, but it's, no, it's absolutely true. But absolutely. anyways, I want—I was talking about this because obviously we're talking about Love is Blind and there yeah. was this idiot. I wish you watched it. Honestly, it's really, really good. Love is Blind really? is good. They just finished their reunion mm. and there was this guy called Shake, this fucking fool. So basically, he was, but he um obviously was, you know, Love is Blind. You know how it works, right? Yeah. So he was uh, married. He was trying to get married to this other woman called uh, Deep Tea, amazing woman. <laughs> but he was like, oh yeah, she's my soulmate. She's amazing, but she reminds me of my auntie. I want to marry her, but I'm not sexually attracted to her. But he was telling himself that he can grow into that sexual attraction. He was a nasty man anyways. He was mm. awful. Thank God that she never ended up marrying him anyway. That mm. stupid bastard. But again, we might have to talk to that. We might have to talk about that another day because obviously Wumi has not watched it. <laughs> I should have told her to watch it, watch bang the whole season before she got here. But he sounds toxic. He was a bastard. He sounds toxic. He was a bastard. Again, you, I That's think like you, might I, be my you shouldn't auntie. base what you feel about people based on their relationship and a lot of people do mm. and i think it's a more that that is more of a men problem than a than a woman problem because i've seen some men yeah date some beautiful women but their personalities are fucking concrete can i just say you as concrete. a I'm, it's very i know yeah not, not to be rude go on i know you were ugly when you were growing up who me yeah 100 percent. you're very ugly you know what? I wasn't the cutest. But to but say what? I was ugly is a bit much. Never. I wasn't, I wasn't, you know, I but would like to think I'm that I'm a bad that bitch because the way now. The reason why I'm saying that yeah, is gone. because you are absolutely stunning and you Stop have, it. and just to actually get to know you today, you have a phenomenal personality. You are mm. fucking funny. You are actually really Joy-Z, funny. Joyzy, don't no, be no, stupid. No, no, I, only like ever, that. I only ever get that from women who were not conventionally beautiful <laughs> growing up. That is such a mad analogy. <laughs> no, seriously. I was not. Yeah, no, I was. Remember I told we you, we both to had try. the same haircut. We didn't have to. Honestly. We had the same haircut. The pretty girls didn't have to try. I had the accents to match it. And you all. even had the I, accent. You bro, had push girl. I was a, a what? Excuse me, sir. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. <laughs> that was me. Ask, me. ask about me in year two. Excuse me, sir. I, I can't see the bod. The Can man. I shampoo my pencil? <laughs> and we'll be like, yes, Wimmy. That's fine. Mr. Girl Girl, bear in mind, his name is Mr. Gregson. Mr. Girl Girl. Okay. Okay, sure. Okay. Sure, that's his name. But yeah, no, I was not the cutest, no. Not no, really. I'm not saying, I was not even saying that to to come at you. I'll say because no, honestly, really. it's very, when I see women with, that are absolutely stunning and have literally sick, pers- like sick personalities. <laughs> I know somewhere something, something, it wasn't always like this before. Something didn't connect. The personality formed first before the look but, but what i was saying is that a lot of guys they will base their relationships on looks mm. and date really nasty women yeah. like really or not just nasty women but concrete women with no personality mm. like i've seen it first hand like so i remember i remember i was talking to i'm not even gonna say, i'm not even gonna beat him up <laughs> i was talking to somebody mm. and i was like do you find your girl funny <laughs> My mom was like, he's like, nah, you know. <laughs> She's not really funny, you know. And I said, but why are you dating her? And he was like, <laughs> you had to think about it because like, she's a nice girl, but she's not funny like how can you how can you date women but humor ain't every I mean for I mean for me you know because I have the humor in it obviously. humor is everything but I mean some girls can be just you know what though I've heard men this is a whole different conversation but I've heard men like men will die on the line of women are not funny women are out. not as funny as men bullshit i nearly got beaten up in GPQ maybe your girl maybe because your, of that conversation maybe your girl but maybe your mommy <laughs> <laughs> not me though y'all stay safe i mean i wanted to consider myself as somebody quite funny do you know what I mean like i've got you know a bit what? of boss today yeah? i've re- i obviously realized today that you're funny oh i didn't, I didn't know before <laughs> but it's, know you know before. what there's certain things that are so like you it, how do you pr- provoke how do you um, how do you bring it out you know what i mean like it's not i'm one of like i'm one of those people i just like whatever i'm just chatting like you know what i mean and it will just come together you know what i mean but know she's a yeah like i'm not gonna come stroke. online and be like oh yes Jay, i'm gonna be son of me like, <laughs> i'm not no, no, I'm, I'm good. but then also i think people get this perception that i'm like you know i love like really deep and intellectual conversations but it's like People are layered. Don't get it twisted. Like you, you are know? very layered. Yeah. People are. Layered. <laughs> you are very layered. Can you imagine the beginning of this conversation to where we are now? Yeah, chaos is the drink. It's it's mad. But I like it. I love I the love dynamic it. conversation. I love and it. I think it's important. Anyways, guys, not gonna lie, yeah, I'm really waved. I think I'm closing it, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be so honest. This, I'm hungry. It's been a great show. It's been, I it's just want to so say, good. guys, now honestly, can we? 
have a big 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 thank you is that is that what is that english yeah can we, <laughs> can we say a big big thank you to Wommy bella for coming today you are phenomenal oh, okay. can i just say i really fucking like you i really fucking like you I, and i'm not i like know the, genuinely like i really like, like you like, like i would go out to dinner like we should go we should catch some we food. should catch some we, we should, should go catch some brunch. food no no but honestly no, thank genuinely. you so much for coming you are such good peoples and i'm glad to have i'm glad to kind of dissect you i think this i think people will be very very happy to see the side of you because i've personally so. never seen yeah you've never seen really i think you're, I thought you're quite wait yeah go on tell me like if you're being if you're being like go on honestly i really i didn't think you'd be this funny you mm. actually you got you got a person you got a humor <laughs> on you she's funny you know fuck <laughs> she's funny you know she's not just you know she's not just um serious and deep conversational <laughs> interviewer <laughs> she's a serious co- she's a comedian slash singer slash everything <laughs> but miss Wumi bello thank you so much and thank you to you guys for listening in i believe this is going to be a two-hour episode or just under two wow. hours honestly i had to cut hot topics short i had to cut questions like short. i said this is her first mother freaking two hour long conversation don't be rolling your eyes because you right. know the truth <laughs> you better tell them i don't know where you're gonna bring it up so i'm gonna bring it up for you you know, I'm not trying to, you know, uplift myself or anything, <laughs> but it's clear that I'm her favorite guest. Sorry, Moses. <laughs> Sorry, Shia. If you're watching me, I'm not intellectual. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I've had so much Guys, time. it's been a pleasure. Thank you, Wumi, and thank you. We go again next week with another bad boy or another bad girl, and we out, baby. Ow.